Panayamu. I I guess I'm back. That was some grade A cock fucking bullshit. Man, and I thought we were the bullies. Uh, let's try this again. I really do apologize, guys. That was that were, that was retarculous officially. God. Man, that was the that was a first for me. Holy shit. Anyway, I'm just going to just keep going. That was some hardcore <laughs> Hardcore virginity, hi Scarlet. I I really appreciate you guys that uh, were trying to take charge. I was trying to do that as well. It must be fucking Xavier. There, everyone's working for fucking Xavier, trying to ruin our good time and our and our holiday. They were like they they were like professional bots. God damn it! All right, let's take a deep breath. Into the nose. Out to the nose. Okay. Take two. I've told you, I don't even know how many times that I want to be friends with you, just like Emma is. Why can't Freelance I like bots? God damn it, Omega. Why? Because Why? you're the one that fucking started no, it the right. other way. No, as I was Lauren, saying, I know. I fell off you, you didn't fucking fall off me. Well, fucking what? You're not going to play with me. I've well, been raided before on I'm not Twitch, obsessed with you like fucking was, Andrews. I told you that I wanted to be friends with you. They must, I told they, they you must have loved me first. Unfortunately, I flirted with you, and I shouldn't have done that. Because look what yeah, happened. You flirted with me. You, look what happened. Fucking full of shit. You did more than up. fucking flirt with me and you know what. No, I didn't. I'm not even aware of not having any kind of fucking conversation with you about this. Because all you do is deny bullshit. Ooh, I was afraid deny I was what? Losses, what am I denying? Lauren. Lauren. Where are you going? Yeah, thanks, guys. I know. I need to get Danny what? G up in here to are you teach crying? me on stream. I'm fucking pissed. Why? You don't want to give me a fucking chance now that you too. already fucking stole me away from Winnie. You tell me you were just flirting. You're fucking full of shit and you know it. But I told you that five You're fucking times lying. So don't ever fucking say that you didn't lie. And I apologize. And you apologize. Call Danny for, G. For flirting I, and, and, with me. And, and you you didn't more than fucking flirt with, with me and you know it. You fucking slime fucking bitch. The whole fucking time Jill you're in the hospital. Jill Corvette is golf minus $3. Art Lord. supply minis. No, 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 don't fucking deny it. it. Jill Corvette golf. <laughs> I was on a lot of medication. So no. Oh, yeah. Thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, and I, I I accept your apology. I was able to get my slime bucket bitch uh, audio going, but I still get the minus. I don't know where the minus goes is or where it's coming from, but I appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> So take fucking drugs before you give me oh, a chance? Man. Of course. Are you fucking cool. kidding me? No. No, you're yes, not kidding me? Donations. Shut up. And I'm not kidding I'll about that. Fine. Oh, no. Did you hang up on me again? I'm just going to have to call you back. Are you up on me again? All right, we need to listen to this. What? That's it's really rude that you hang up on me like that. You shouldn't do yeah, that. Yeah, well, it's really rude that you call me at 1030 at night when you're still on your fucking date. I didn't call you. I texted you. That you fucking you ditched me for. That I was not going to be home on time. And I didn't want you yeah. waiting up. Because you, cause you were still on your fucking date. Lauren. Fucked up date. You can't even call me and have fucking time with me on the fucking phone. But you can go on every, a fucking date every goddamn night of the fucking week. I'm not on a date right now and I'm calling you. Oh, yeah. Gee, what a good time to call me when I'm all pissed off because of the bullshit you've already done. Well, why don't you take the stick out of your ass and not be so angry? Why would I not be angry? Well, you shouldn't after be. The way, after the way you made me fucking feel, and the way that you fucking wanted us to be. You know, Poop Frog, honestly, your guess is as good as mine. I have no idea. I've only, like, timed or report. Like, I, I try to kind of do all three. I know there was someone spam spamming a TLI stream, and 
honestly, I just start clicking everything that I can just to get them to fuck the fuck off. Be together. I didn't make taking you me away from Winnie. Anything. I didn't make you feel anything, Lauren. Oh, bullshit! You must. You fucking felt shit for me too. Otherwise, you never would have wanted to take me away from Winnie. I didn't take you away from Winnie. You ditched her. Yeah, That's you her did. Problem. You did. You'll never leave her. You're devoted to her. I don't sound like that, do I? Don't. Don't think I remember a lot of the shit that was said, do you? Um. No. Things that are important to me, I, re I remember quite well. But Lauren, as I said a thousand times, <laughs> I really, I really want I to work this I just want to be friends, and right. I want to date every guy so down why here. Do you gotta no, beg I for don't want to date every guy down here. Oh, I bullshit. Don't date... That's not true. Bullshit. You don't give me a fucking chance at all, do you? Lauren, you're up in Maine. You have a lot of shit going on, and I'm trying to help you out, like a friend should. I'm up in I'm up in Maine, and you can't fucking trot your ass up here. You can trot no. your ass all over the United States. You can't trot your ass up here. I can trot my because ass I'm not worth it to wherever you. I want. Because you I'm not fucking it worth like it to people you. People just have to do things for you that yeah. I have. Well, I have to prove myself to you somehow. That's fucked up. Dude. Okay, I guess I. I well, I'll do thank that. you, Pepper. I you um, took me away from somebody that I fucking gave a shit about. I lowered the call a I little bit. Let away. me know. I, you know then I gave you better. gave a shit about you. Obviously, you didn't because you would have stayed with her. So why are you blaming Dude, that on me? Volume. I wanted to give you a chance. I knew what when he was was born. I knew she was having a hard time getting away from the drugs. Now I was tired of it. Okay, but you're blaming me for taking her away These from These boots you, were made for trotting. I'm so happy. I wasn't going to leave her. Okay. Obviously, it was your choice. I wasn't. It was, it was my choice. Yeah. To give you a chance and, or to stay with Winnie. I didn't do that. You did. Well, it was obviously a mistake. I don't know why. Okay, I lowered the desktop so volume, so, so I am talking right sense? now. Please tell Let me, me yeah. know yeah. how I am sounding. I'm still getting sense. used to this how? new microphone. How does it make sense? I'm on a date, these, so I can. If I can God damn settings. My date's more important. That's better. Well, Yay! No, thank you. I I, I really appreciate you, Pepper. Let me know if I'm sounding okay or not, because I I can't tell. Levels are like much I better. Said, cool. You have to be better than this, right? You want to see if I'm better than this or not? Give when I'm listening back dance. to my streams, I do know, especially when I'm in like say, full obviously. paint mode. All you try to do is find these little I get a little quiet. Why, you don't give a shit about me? Lauren, I care about you as a person and as a friend. That's all that I know you as. Well, That's all you should know me as. Like, what the hell, man? What the hell, bro? Chance. Like, you're giving all these other fucking guys a chance. Give you a chance for what? To see what's between us, because there's really obviously watch something football. between us. I really don't. Get along I'm, not, I'm not a sports awesome. person oh, at all. For some like fucked it. up reason, I respond to you like I don't respond to anybody else. Yeah, it really, it really sounds like we get along really well. No, well, we actually do. It's a match made in heaven. Yeah, I know. Except look for right now, when that. you go on a fucking date and leave me fucking hanging. I can go on dates. I can do whatever I want, Lauren. We're not dating. Yeah, it's a boss and cap. Yeah. Do you yeah, understand? You can. Do you understand? Yeah, I understand it. You can be without me, too. Be without you what? I'm without you now. <laughs> there is no being with you. There is none of that. You can be without, you can be without me in your life. But why? Why does that have to be that way? Why can't, why? Why can't I be because like you're giving, Emma is? Because you're giving all you? these other fucking guys a chance, and you're not giving me a chance. Lauren, you're up in Maine. You have a bunch of shit going on. You have so much so stuff what? on so your what? plate. You know what's really interesting that I learned from Clobber's stream with Tiffany and Joey was, and I totally freaking called this, that Tiffany wasn't the one that was texting Lauren. She was just the voice, the, she was the voice girl, and Emma was the one texting Lauren. And I'm pretty positive that in, in, in Lauren's mind, the texts were Debbie flirting or that and then also uh, bring in Winnie to kind of fuel the flame here saying I don't know what's going on Debbie's been skipping around acting all freaking happy and then Lauren just kind of put two and two together like 
Boom. All right. She's my woman and I'm in love with her. What the fuck? You well, I'm need not to figure fire. it out. You need to figure I'm not, it out. I'm not worth trying to fucking go through this shit with. As a friend, of course. And that's what I've been trying to do, Lauren. That's what I've been trying to do. And you will not let me do that. Every single day, this shit comes up for you. Every single time I have to prove that you're some fucking special person. That I have to prove somehow that you're more important than my own life. And the things that I want to do so that you feel better about yourself. And that's fucked up. No, your life is very important. I These know fucking it dates are yeah, not this important is my favorite to me. They, too. they fucking suck I do to think me. that I made okay, his fine, mouth a little too you. wide open. Fine. Which, I mean, whatever. But it there's not a fucking do... fair chance Lauren for me. Lauren is very tight-lipped. Lauren, there is no chance you are up in Maine and you have probation you have your sex offender class you have a bunch of stuff that you have thank to you figure it's a little out. glossy right I now I, out, no chance. I, I thought you I were the hate, one person i hate glossy that could paint. Handle I hate that glossy shit. pictures and do what? i'm a matte girl I be there with me i can still hi help michael mendoza you still help me while you're all fucking some other fucking guy you think i'm gonna fucking this be around you for that shit this is Top Lauren, notch. Are you that, fucking top kidding notch, me? Debbie. Friends typically don't care who the other one is fucking. Yeah, well, obviously, uh, you're more than a friend to me. But I'm telling you that it's and not I didn't more fucking than a do friendship. That. Yes, well, you did. You're doing it. Because yeah, I'm telling you, You're the one that like fucking that. brought it on. No, I didn't, Lauren. Yeah, you did. Your behavior is what a psychopath does. You're a stalker. Really? Yeah, you're the well, type of guy. Really? Does, does a psychopath do this? Down, Go ahead and fuck your down. guys. Bye. You hang up again, you little bitch. <laughs> does a psycho do this? What? Okay, here's where you're going to be normal. And you're not going to hang up on me and play this little well, game. I'm going to do what okay. I want to do because you won't go off fucking other guys. Go and do what you want to do, of course. I've never stopped you from doing anything. So what's really going on and why are you taking that out on me? What's really going on is it's all about you. It shouldn't be. I was fucking fine for them until I found out you're on a fucking date, and that's a reason that you couldn't yeah, didn't fucking call psycho. me last night. You've known that I've been going out on dates. You said that you didn't want to hear about them. I didn't, I didn't think that you were going out on that many dates, and I didn't think that I was going to get fucking pushed to the side because of some fucking cocksucker. Well, he's not a cocksucker. That's number one. And then number two. Oh, yeah. oh he's not. So, is, how many fucking dates you been on with this guy? Yeah, I mean, this call, it, it's, it's, um, there's a balance between really being pissed off at Lauren because he's so fucking delusional. We all know this. This is true. This is facts. But Debbie, the, the, the best way to dominate an argument is to stay really calm and cool and do not raise your voice because that especially someone like Lorne it's gonna piss them off and then they're the ones that are going to up their pitch up their volume they're gonna start spewing things that make absolutely no sense and that's what Debbie does and then also puts in her little her little jabs like um what uh, Scarlett said, you know, hello everyone, or when you're drunk. It's none of your business. Obviously, you really? can't handle any information. Obviously, that's obviously, true. more than I want to hear, and obviously, more than you, you want to tell me. So you you're, 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 you're fucking, you you're protecting him. Are you gonna hang up? You're, you're protecting him, saying he's not a cocksucker. How is that protecting anybody? <laughs> You sure fucking defending oh him off a lot. Oh, I'm defending He's not a cocksucker. Oh my god, Lord. Lauren not also a does try to, to do Debbie's voice, and That's that, that really is kind of funny. <laughs> What's so funny about it? Could you have to spend time in person with him? Well, because and you, you don't just with said me? that I'm defending him because I say he's not a cocksucker. <laughs> yeah. How do you know he's not a cocksucker? How is. Oh, god, Lauren. How does anyone How do you know, know? That you're not? Well, you know for a fact that I'm not. I'm homophobic. <laughs> no. Can't tell you that I'm not. <laughs> you could be. 
about this guy. You know, he, you know he's uh, not a cocksucker? You don't fucking know, do you? <laughs> Who cares? I or care if I'm going on a fucking date with him. And that's not the kind of person that I wanted. Oh, my God. You're so silly. You have to turn Lauren upside down. What's so silly about it? I have feelings yeah. for you. Man, this thing is crazy. Just money because you fucking dump, dump freaking... me because you're on a fucking date I with this fucking cocksucker. How was I able to dump you? If somebody's not with you, they can't dump you, right? You fucking ditched me because you're on a date with this cocksucker. I didn't ditch anybody. Two nights in Actually... a row, you fucking. Yeah, Poop Frog. It. There's nothing. There's nothing more powerful than being the calm one in an argument and then to be the and also to be the one to say kind of like a, a like pulling a, a Ramona Lord calm down I was being quite nice by telling you that I wasn't going to be home I didn't give you any details at all because Pepper, that sounds delicious. I didn't want them, so I didn't give them. I wasn't going to be home. I oh, didn't, to, when he gave I to didn't want you to be sitting there like some loser waiting for me to call. So I decided to text you and said I wasn't going to be around in time. Yeah, because you were out on a fucking date with a cop. And I was, oh yeah, exactly. I was out on a date with a cop. With a duke. With a duke. Here we go. That's what Winnie said. With a duke. Not a prince, but a duke. Okay. In your, in your pizza bikini, making making a cock and balls out of fucking meatballs and spaghetti. Was she watching me again? Oh, my God. Did you show your cocksucker date what you were making with him? Did he start drooling when he when he, uh, you made the, the dick? What's a pizza bikini? No, Is he it laughed like, at it. Like edible underwear? He laughed at it. He said, yeah, I stuck something to look like that last night is what he's thinking. Did you make it curved? No. Oh, you made it straight? It was curved. Yeah, I made it straight. Shout out to Oh, is it straight? It's none of your business. Exactly. Oh, so you, you know already. Here? What the fuck, Lord? So you, so you know? the fuck? You fucking you know? pervert. I'm not telling you You anything. know his is straight? <laughs> I mean, dates been on with him. It's none of your business. <laughs> Oh, good. You are neither my boyfriend nor my father. Oh, so thank you. you. Yeah, well, thank you, uh, Pepper yeah, and well, uh, Whatever. Up on me? You I don't up? fucking you gonna care. You going to hang up? You going to hang up? I don't fucking care. You're the one to fucking... That's what I wanted. Did all this I shit. can only do voices care. well when I'm not so pressured into on, doing it. My husband makes me do it all the time, and I'm like, no, because I'm going to Well, you know I do fucking care. That is the problem. That's because you don't want to give me a fucking chance because I'm up in Maine. You, you don't want to trust Maine. your little fucking ass up here to see defender. me. You're on probation. You don't want to tell you. You don't, you don't, I'm a so what? I'm on the fucking registry. You get You're the fuck. You're an alcoholic. You're an abusive motherfucker. You don't know how to treat people. Unbelievable. I've spent my time trying to help you. Trying oh, to he would never say this to you. Debbie's oh, face, and Scarlett. This is Absolutely what you do. Un not. Unbelievable. You took me away from Winnie. Yes, I'm left handed. Unfucking believable. What are you doing? Looking in the mirror again? <laughs> Can't believe it. Can't believe what? That I'm, uh, that I'm good looking? <laughs> oh, you don't think I'm good looking? No. Guess not, because your ass down there going out with cocksuckers. Right. Making talks on your plate. Yeah. See what they think of them. Yeah, I know. You know everything. You just fucking told me that. You told me that. That's what Winnie told me. Oh, okay. Then what you say, oh, Winnie she was watching. You? She was watching me again. What, what else does Winnie tell Yay, you? Yay, Scarlet Ebony, twins. Then you fucking told me that, that your fucking date thought it was too ugly. <laughs> ugly. Like, uh, it's like, ugly. what the fuck? I know. Me personally, me personally, my my opinion of it would be I'd rather not fucking see it. Right. Okay. This is totally off topic, but I need to share this with you guys. Hopefully, you've already seen it, but my husband and I binge watched the show Midnight Mass on Netflix. Holy shit, that was a roller coaster. That's all I can freaking say. If you liked the Netflix movie Hush, it's the same 
writer director that uh, that did Hush and Midnight Madness is like a a short form like series I don't think it's gonna go anywhere because of the ending but if you're into kind of spooky seclusion like mystery uh kind of like I don't want to say it doesn't like poke fun at religion it it's it's a wonderful debate between like the like both sides of the coin when it comes to religion it's Squid Game. I don't know what Squid Game is. I that's the second time I've heard of it. I have not. I have. I haven't seen it yet. But if that's something to watch, then yeah. Whatever. One more wall. Okay, Lauren. Now that we is got that what that it is? People line. are just talking about are you it. Tell I think. Me what's uh, really bothering you? Yeah, I've heard someone talk about it. Yeah, I already fucking told you. Well, what is it really? Because it can't be that I took you away. Hush is right, Pepe's Debbie. favorite movie. I, I love you. That's what the fucking God problem it, is. Scarlet. I love you and I want a fucking chance. And you're not giving it to me because you're out dating fucking guys down there. And you won't come up and see me, but you'll fly clear across the fucking country to support your friend in, the, in a fucking band or whatever. And you'll fly all over fucking hell, he was but you won't come under. up and see me. You won't even send me a fucking picture. Yeah, yeah I know, alert. because look at what you do. Look at what you do. Do you really think I'm going to fucking come try to find you? Yes. I know you can't, because that would be illegal. I wouldn't anyway. But look at what you do. You're completely insane. Ears wide shut. I'm completely insane? Yes. I write you yes. fucking poems. I sing to you. Yeah. I give yeah, you attention that you fucking deserve. That's all And lovely, I'm completely Lauren. insane because of that? Yeah, because look at what you're doing now. Look at yeah, what you're I'm doing now. Because you're fucking not giving me a fucking chance that I deserve. You don't deserve anything, by the way. And you can't force someone to give you a chance. <laughs> Scarlet Why do always you wins every chance? stream. Why? Uh, because I deserve for you to get to it's know the real amazing. me. I'm getting to know the real you, Lauren. What the hell? Right, Lauren. Let's I have spent my time in. explaining not things to you, it, working things it. out with you. And it all goes right into the toilet. You don't hear anything that I have to say. Ugh, I'm not because it comes bee. right back down to this. You yeah, knew that I wanted get, to be friends with you. You knew that we did not have a relationship. I had apologized to you up and down about flirting with you at the beginning. I shouldn't have done it because you took it way over the line. I did not know that was going to happen. If I could go back, it never would have happened. Because I want to be friends with you. I don't want to mess with your head. I don't want to troll you in some way. I just want to be a good person who's trying to help. Yeah, I liked Hush too. Um, my husband and I rewatched it uh, tonight while we were having dinner. I honestly, my one critique is going to be, I wish that the guy wore the mask longer. Because as soon as he, like took off the mask he completely lost his intimidation it humanized him a lot more like when i think of like the movie strangers where you really don't see their freaking faces that is way creepier than face reveal like and the guy was i mean no offense on the guy you know congrats on getting like a cool role or like that but he was kind of a mouth breather like i wasn't intimidated like he didn't he didn't intimidate me anymore. Yeah, he was like somewhat clever, but mm, not a whole lot. Help you. That's it. Every single time it's like we go through this cycle. Everything is fine. You understand. Ending is a little strange. And then all of a sudden all right, something John. sets you off and you start screaming again. You start rehashing everything from all the way back at the beginning. If you care so much about Pepper, Winnie, I totally go and get that. her. Tell her how you feel. Tell her that you love her. As wide she loves shut, you too. mouths hey, wide open. Hey, funny how you fucking open. say this now after I get feelings for you, but you fucking didn't say it then. Say what? That I wanted to be friends with you? I told you. What? Lauren, what? I don't want you to be sad. 
Debbie, you've done enough fucking damage. Go on your fucking dates and fuck whatever fucking cocksucker you want down there, all right? What are you talking about? Don't hang up on me. That is so weird. What? You're going to start to hurt my feelings if you keep hanging up on me like that. You already hurt mine. You don't give a fuck about me. Of course I do. I don't know I what do. the fuck you even I mean, had anything to do with yeah, me. Yeah, Scarlett, exactly. It's, be, it's exactly like right scream. Now, like, we want to we want to see that. Of course I do. Yeah, well, you, Excuse me. You like, fucking care you know, at the beginning, the, too. Like, remember? Close to Lauren, the climax. I, I really don't want to have to repeat myself 500 times. Yeah, well, I don't want to repeat yourself either. So I'm just fucking ending it. Why? Why can't we be friends? Why? Why? Because, because you've fucking done enough fucking damage. But I'm not trying to do damage. That's the thing. You're taking it to yeah, that Well, level. you've done it. Why? You've done it. Why don't you see that you've fucking done damage? Oh, Go fuck your fucking cocksuckers damage? down there. Why? Leave me the fuck alone. Go fuck your cocksuckers. You- yeah, the, the mask reveals on Friday the 13th, they always did look pretty goofy. The one that I remember the most is... The first Friday the 13th I actually saw, and that was the one, I think, I think, uh, what's it called? Jason, like, takes Manhattan or something. It's the one when he's in New York. And then we, like, see his dumb face, and it's kind of like, all right, you kind of lost me. You little bitch. (laughs) You little bitch. Lauren, come on, man. Debbie, I don't think one bit of anything that you fucking done to me is fucking funny at all. I'm not laughing. I haven't ever laughed at any moment of me speaking to you. Part eight. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. yeah. What am I going to laugh about? We talked about some really serious stuff. Yeah, well, I'm, Hi, I'm, crime I'm pretty sure you were laughing last night on your fucking date while you were texting me. I'm not going to be home on time. Why would you think I'd be laughing? Have Dr. At that Amara moment? winning. Why would I be laughing at that moment? God fucking knows, but you sure happy being on your fucking date. So good for you and your fucking date. Lauren, but why would I be laughing? I was being nice, and I was telling you that I wasn't going to be able to call you. It's going to Damn, be too late. Scarlett, that's too for you us. you don't want to give me a fucking chance, there's Same no need needs. for me to keep you fucking hanging on, because all you've done is damage. I thought that you were getting to be a better person. Is that not true? Well, I was a good person to begin with. I just had some issues. Why can't you? I am a, I am a, me? I am a better person, but you don't want to fucking see any kind of person that I am. All you want to do is date them motherfuckers down there and not give me a chance. No, that's not all I want to do. What, I want to go to the beach. What reason I do I have to fucking rating. hang on? It's not the only the thing only that R I rating. That's interesting. Yeah, well, you certainly won't come up here to fucking see me, would you? Well, Lauren, think about what would happen if I did. What would happen? You would go crazy. What do you mean I would go crazy? You would go crazy, Lauren. It's you would be crazy. so in love. You just, oh, my God. You, you don't really think you're the first beautiful woman that I've you know, fucking dated, do you? Oh. <laughs> well, number one, we're not dating. But, I mean, truthfully, you have never had a girlfriend. So let's stop kidding ourselves right there. Right. I've had a lot of one-night stands. Yeah, you don't think that you're, that you're the first beautiful woman that's been, ever been in my life, do you? Well, yeah. I mean, a one-night stand is someone who couldn't find anyone else. Yeah, well, one-night stand, a lot of more one than one-night stands, but that wasn't their problem. That was my problem. I didn't want any more than one-night stands back then. That was my problem. Okay. <laughs> it wasn't them. That's interesting, Scarlett. Like, I remember when I was a kid and um, Blockbuster Video was like the thing to do and like go get go rent a movie i like i didn't get into horror movies until like later in like my 20s because i think my mom like really like didn't want me to watch scary movies so in my head i was like okay well she doesn't want me to watch them because they're scary therefore i should be scared but for some reason, I would walk through the horror section and I would look at all the VHS, like the cover art, the, the, like the poster, like the, the, you know, that advertises the film. And like part of me was like scared, but I was also like fascinated at the same time. So it was, it was really weird. I was, I was meant to to love horror films and I do
because they wanted more than a one night stand. I bet. I bet they were knocking at your door. Did they act like you are right now? So I had Did to roll down the window. I had to get a had to get a hornet out of my fucking truck. Oh my god. He's <laughs> outside now. Okay, good. A day tripper. Anyway. I think really if I came up there to see you, it would just escalate things. And that's not what I do. Do what? You, you, you. Okay, getting back to Lauren and uh Debbie, I'm I know this has been said before, but So it's okay for Lorne to have a bunch of one-night stands, but let's say Debbie is going out on dates, which in Lorne's mind equals uh, hooking up or, you know, having having sex, which it doesn't. But why is it okay for him and not okay for her? I mean, you, we know we, we know this this storyline. We know this fucking shit that still happens. Debbie is a adult. She's independent. She can do whatever the fuck she wants. She can go out on dates. She can hook up with, you know, who whoever she wants. It's, it's, I mean, just like what, what Lauren said, it's my fucking body, Paul. Like, she can do whatever she wants. Like, he just totally think it's that fucking double standard. It's that fucking bullshit that women being sexual means that they are slots, but men are studs. Ugh. You'd actually be able to fucking get to see me in person and start getting to know me in person? You can't even right now with us not being Oh, in that's person. cool, Andrew. You yeah, I, I loved walking through. Be because I know you're uh, not giving me the fucking chance the, that I deserve. The, the movie Why do you think you deserve boxes? something? Because I do deserve a chance. Why? Why? Because you're the one that fucking took me away from winning. I didn't take you away. You left. Yeah, you did. <laughs> Hell How yeah, Omega. Did I drag that's so you Lauren. Away? Did I change her number so that you couldn't get in contact? Did I tell her lies about you? No. You'll, you'll never you'll never leave her. You're too devoted to her. Okay, so how is that making you leave? You wanted you're to skipping leave. Skipping around the skipping around the hospital when you finally do get me away from her. Okay, but why do you think I'd be doing that? Do you know that that has something to do with you, or do you think maybe I was doing that for some other reason? Winnie knew something had that it had to do with that. She wasn't stupid. Total toxic You know, you pick and choose what you want to be the truth. Winnie like, has Winnie, already said it. Who knows? Winnie's, Winnie's fucked up, and she says crazy things. And then, oh, that sounds good to me, so I'm going to believe that to be the truth. She's not stupid. I never said that she was stupid. This is Debbie, yes. Never did. If you love her, then go back to her. Yeah, well, I love you, too. So now she's married, and she has Will. Something I never knew before. Yeah, but... So the kind of the kind of woman that I'm looking for is you, someone that's honest and that I can trust. Well, I am being honest with you, and you don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it because you're the one that fucking took me away from Winnie and never gave me a, a, an honest chance. I didn't. Gaining Lauren's trust is not a prize. He is so gullible and so easy to trust somebody to to trust someone, especially a woman. It's ridiculous take you away from Winnie why me why not go after Emma she's known you for a really long time she knows you better than anyone she's not the same type of person that I'm looking for why because she's not the type of person I'm interested in why because she's not the same type of person that I am oh you're saying that I'm like you and you're honest even, even even though I know I've been dishonest I used to be just as honest as you you I just needed I to get it back. To I you needed to, I needed to get that. away from certain people. I needed to get away from certain people and away from certain things. Right. And I'm getting my old self back, and I, I like it. Fantastic. Getting away from certain people and getting away from certain things equals I'm not going to take responsibility for my bad behavior. I'm going to put the blame on someone or something else. Good job, Lauren. Good job. I'm glad that you're happy. But Emma's an honest person, too. She's Emma's not completely so honest. Well, neither are you. Yeah. 
So you know what? You can't throw stones at her and make it like, oh, yeah, I can't be with Emma. She's not the type of person that I am. Walk around with your nose up in the air. Really? What are you doing? What? What am I doing? What are you doing? What? Yeah. Walking around what? with your nose up in the fucking air like I'm not good enough for you. Well, you're not. We <laughs> both know that. You're not. Oh, we do. Really? Yeah. yeah. Really? <laughs> He's so shocked yeah. by this. Well, I say different. Okay. You don't want to find out that's, that's going to be your problem. Bye. No, don't hang up. Lauren, please. Oh, no. What? 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 See, you can't tell me you're not fucking attracted to me because it, it's even in your voice that you're attracted to me. It is. How? What do I, I can sound tell like? it's in your voice. I'm not, the, I'm not the only one that can tell it that it's in your voice. What do I sound like? Why? Job. <laughs> okay. Lauren's not even good enough for a paper bag. Uh, didn't, think I, didn't think I realized it before, did you? I, I heard you do it. What, because I say you. job? Yeah, I'm mocking uh, you. Yeah. yeah, you're mocking me. <laughs> yeah. All these little things that I do that you, uh, that you really think are cute, but you tell me just the opposite. It's funny. You say funny shit, and you say it in a funny way. I know. But all, these, all these little things that, that, that you say that are bad uh, bad things about me and they're just the opposite. You think just the opposite way. <laughs> okay, well, go ahead and think that. <laughs> right. you know, no, like I'm a bad singer. You said that before when I was with Winnie. Well, yeah, you are a bad singer, Lauren. You don't do anything to improve yourself. Have you quit smoking? No. That's why you enjoy my singing, right? It's funny. First of all, Lauren, it's, it's, you call out... Funny. And one of the first things you say is, I don't know all the words, but I'm going to sing it anyway. And then you yeah, kind the of... the fucking 1980s songs that I can't scream, remember all the words to. You scream the songs at the top of your lungs. Half the time I do. I put everything into it. Bad, and they're static on the radio. If you don't know all the words, don't sing them. Like, I would never go to a, like a voice or singing audition without knowing every single song that is in my book. Because it has happened when uh, you got your go-to audition song that really shows off, you know, like your attributes for your voice. And then they're like, you know what? I want to hear something different. And then the accompanist would be like, flip through and be like, oh, hey, uh, how about this? If you don't know the fucking song, you're fucked. And you look unprofessional. I mean, I know he's just serenading someone that he loves, but still, like, you're not going to impress someone. Be like, hey, I want to sing this to you. I really, I really want to express how I feel about you. I really don't know the words, but still, it counts, right? No, it doesn't. It's funny. Also, oh, there's another Hi, Phantasm that Art. Thank you that you like my singing on that. All right. Well, no, you're not my type of <laughs> one. Take Joran. <laughs> Seems like I'm not your type of everything. Yeah, you're my type of friend. A disaster. Uh huh. Yeah. Whatever. Why whatever? Why, Why don't whatever? you want to accept that? You accept it from everyone else. Did you always, did you always tell me one thing, and it's always another fucking thing. What do you mean? Like what? Like everything, Debbie. I'm, I'm, I'm not doing this. What? I'm not fucking playing game. I'm not playing. Game. Lauren, I'm not playing a game. I'm probably yeah. the only honest person in your life. Yeah, well, you haven't been completely honest either. Yes, I have. Go fuck your guys. Go fuck your guys. Okay, how many can I have at one time? (laughs) Oh, damn it. Now I'm never going to know. What? I would love Simon Cowell to... Not as rude. What do you want? I want to be... Don't want me. You don't want... Oh, you don't man, want me, you don't destroy give me a fucking chance like I deserve. Lauren, but I'm sure he won't believe you. No, He'll be like, oh, fucking, Simon Carl, he doesn't know what he's talking about. He doesn't even talk right. So but I'm not feeding you. I'm not feeding you bullshit. Yeah, well, you don't feed me bullshit. You sure did, certainly did before and you know what. I'm fucking tired of shit like that. Oh, my God, Lauren. Oh, when are we going to get past this? That's what I want to know. When I get a fair chance. Well, when you get off probation and you get through your class, and you have plastic surgery, <laughs> then maybe we can talk. Really? Really? Yeah. yeah. I don't need I know for a goddamn fact I don't need plastic surgery. Well, you can't afford it, but you definitely need it, though. Like, your ears are no, mismatched. Really. Your teeth are backwards, weirdly <laughs> spaced out. 
Your nose is bulbous and humongous. The back of your head is He's flat. British. You don't know you country music. He's no country boy. No, I don't. Yes, you do. It's okay, no, though. No, It's okay. There's going to be someone who's not going to care. Debbie? What? I'm not going to listen to your bullshit. Yes, you are. What? Hello. What? What? What do you want? I don't want you to be mad at me. Warren looks like he already sad. took a baseball well, batter too. Maybe you should have thought face. about that a long time ago. But he could I use another. I probably should have, but I didn't. No, because it wasn't important then. You were just interested in me a long time ago. No, I wasn't. No, you were. Of course you were. Yeah, no, I wasn't. Of course you were. Right. Yeah, of course you were. Yeah. Of course you were. Right. Yeah, you didn't come. You didn't come three times in the fucking hospital, while making me stay on the phone and have phone sex with you. And send right, I didn't. Out on the patio. Right, I didn't. Right, I didn't. Yeah. Ooh, she's getting right. Yeah, I didn't. right. Yeah, you, you full shit. Fucking too. freak. What do you want? <laughs> What's the matter, Lauren? Can't take it. Can't take what? Huh? You tired actually of listening, tired of listening to your fucking that... bullshit. I'm tired of listening to your bullshit. I actually want you to act like a human for once. Do you want to try? No, yeah, well, I want you. I want you to act like a human for once, too, and you don't. I have been. No, you haven't. Who holds on to something when someone's in the hospital and they think something happened when they're heavily medicated, practically in a coma, and you take that and you're like, oh, she loves me, and I'm going to sit here on the phone while maybe she's you didn't want anybody else. or whatever. I'm going to sit there and jerk off to it like a uh, fucking Pepper. disgusting freak. I you really didn't, you didn't want I anybody really else. don't know. I didn't want anybody else. You didn't want anybody I else right. I don't know what you're talking about because of course you it's don't. almost as if I wasn't even there, idiot. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. Well, you obviously don't. I didn't know you anything with your you fucking people, pathetic you friend don't want either, people, did I? You don't want people to take things that you say when you're drunk. Seriously. But I can't be in the hospital for a week and be really sick and on a lot of medication. You're going to take that and you're going to hold it as the truth. Now hold it as the truth because you're the one that made me and you be together. Because that's all you before, have. Before because you ended up in the hospital. Because your mind is fucking twisted be- and mushed. Before you, before you ended up in the hospital, you're the one that put me and you together. No, I didn't. You act like yeah, you, you just did. sat back and you I fucking fucked did. you up. Stop your I fucking lying, you Debbie. Me, and then Winnie, I pushed her aside. You act like that actually happened. Yeah, it, yeah, you're, you're the at one. Some fucking point, lying Pepper, again. He, you're the one who yeah. did it. I believe again. Yeah, this again. Again. Does I'm, I'm, start I'm tired again. of your fucking again. lie. Again. You can hang up. You can hang I'm tired up. of your fucking lie. have a moment of clarity. Liar, liar, liar. With Tiffany's voice. So how did it wind up being so many things wrong with the way I look? What do you mean? How did it happen? When, when you, you are the only woman that I've ever had point out anything wrong with my look. <laughs> are you serious? Yeah. You cannot. <laughs> okay. I think that Winnie may have made a list once. <laughs> oh, Winnie. You Winnie makes a list her? of everything with everybody. No, I don't want you to call her. Why? No, I don't. Because she, last I knew she was on the phone with your mother. Okay. And I don't want to, I don't want to, if I'm going to talk to you, I'm going to talk to you right now. I don't want a three-way conversation. Well, if you're going to talk to me, then talk to me and don't hang up like a little fucking bitch. Well, start, start trying to give me an honest chance. At what? At getting to know me and giving me a chance to fucking I am getting to know you. you. And I don't want to date you. What the fuck, Lauren? All right. Well, I don't, don't see that we need to fucking go any further then. Why? <laughs> what? Why would you think that we're together? Because we were together before, and I never got a fair chance with you. And I'm pissed off about it. If you don't want to give we... me a fair chance, you just want to date every fucking guy down in Florida that you can. So go ahead and do it. I'm out of the way. You don't have anything to worry about with me. Well, you're not in the way. I'm friends with you. Yeah. I know I'm not in the way. Right. So you don't, cause you you don't want me in a way. Every fucking time, you turn around, you say, well, "We're not together," and, and you're not giving me a chance. So I don't I see any reason for us say, going any further. I wouldn't have to say any of that if you didn't have to go back there every time. Well, Ooh, Omega, you tell me you're not going to give me a chance. I don't see any reason. Sometimes for it's us hard going to tell. Further. But if you don't expect Tiffany's that playing stuff Casey or now. Debbie if we don't get any like uh, context yep. of like the storyline. Okay. And Emma's your friend. Yep. Okay. 
So why can't I be your friend? Emma, Emma was married when me and Emma met. Okay, fine. And I don't but and you... I don't date married women. I didn't know when he was Are you wasn't telling married. Me that you didn't if I knew try. if I knew Winnie wasn't if I knew that Winnie was married, I never would have dated Winnie. Okay, but you did. But I did. Right. And then you happened and you got me away from Winnie. I didn't get you away from anyone. Why is it yeah, that you're the you only did. person who has no free will? Why? Are you fucking kidding me? I think why would that you still you, why would I, you fucking I don't deny that think, shit? I don't think that you really wanted to be with Winnie anymore. I think you were sick of her. Mm-hmm. I think she was driving you insane. Mm-hmm. I was sick of her bullshit. Right. Her. I was sick of her, I was sick of her bullshit. Yes, exactly. And that's why you wanted to go. <laughs> but you're the one that got me away from her. I didn't get you away from anything, Lorne. Still it's fucking deny it. Unfucking believable. Oh my god. It really is unfucking believable, isn't it? It is. I wish you could hear yourself. I wish you could hear yourself. I can. Yeah, you can, and you don't seem to fucking understand how, how much you're fucking lying about <laughs> shit. But what am I lying? I'm being truthful. That's what makes him a good person. No, he doesn't I date married women. It when I say that there was flirting at the beginning. That- That's kind of like Jorn. He's like, oh, when I find out that the, uh, the woman is uh, married or taken... That's that. That's when I back off. That's where he draws the line. That got out of hand. I've never ever that got had out that of hand. Before. My ass. I've never. Oh, totally, I'm Scar- telling you, Scarlett. Why are you telling me? No, you. That what I'm saying. What about what you did? What you about did the whole fucking shit on purpose? You, want to be you know what you were doing? Like last night. You knew what you were doing. You knew what fucking time it was. You knew you said you were gonna call me last night. You're on your fucking date. Lauren, the date wound up being out. more important than me. It's like the night before. My life is more important than you, Lauren. I can do whatever I want with it. Yeah, you, you are can. not more important so go, than the things that I want to do. Go get your dates. Go get your dates and have your fuck time with them. You don't want to give me a chance and don't need for us to go any further. Dude, you're so fucking stupid. You are one massive pile. Oh, God. What? It's not fuck time yet, so I want to talk to you. No, like, why, you, you don't you don't have your date and hadn't showed up yet? No, I'm not going out tonight. No, just on, just last night. So you had your yeah, fuck time last night. I went out last night. So you had your fuck time last it's night. It's none of your business what I did. Yeah, well, give him a fucking call. Go fuck him again for all I care. No, you do care. You're probably going to cry about it. Mm-hmm. So instead of that, why don't we just stay on the phone and we can work this out? What's it to work out, Debbie? You don't want to give me a fucking chance. I ain't going to fucking cry and cry and fucking whimper over you. I don't want you whimper. to. I'm going to fucking damage your fucking choice, gun. Lauren. I don't want you to cry. Go get your fucking date. I want you your to fuck be a time. and hang up the phone like a baby. Ooh, my what? Fell asleep. Why do you keep answering if you don't want to talk to me? Why do you keep calling if you want to go fuck somebody else? I told you that I'm not going out. Well, it was just last night. I went out last night, yes. What's the big deal? Whatever. You want to give every guy down there a fucking chance? Don't want to give I don't give every guy down here a chance. Well, you don't give me a chance either, so that's my problem. That is your problem, because you sound crazy. I'm not crazy at all. No, you really are, though, because I'm explaining stuff to you, and I'm actually trying to be a nice person to you, and you can't have that. And I'm explaining stuff to you, too. You just want someone to be on the phone and be like, I love you, Lauren. You can be like, I love you, baby. And all of that stuff, that's exactly what you want. You just want to be on on the phone with count those the guys time. down there. That's why you loved talking to Winnie all the time. I want you in person, but you don't want to fucking be in person. Right, I you don't want to hide yourself. No, I don't want to wanna, hide myself. Yeah, do. I don't have to. Yeah, but the yeah, point you don't even is, send me a, you don't even send me a fucking picture of you. So don't tell me you don't want to fucking hide yourself. But look what you've done without seeing she a picture. She doesn't have to. She's not obligated to send a picture of her. You know, you know to well, you. I'm not going to fucking hunt you down and try to find you. No, I know that you're not going to. You don't have the resources to do that. And you can't travel. And I wouldn't do afraid. it anyway. I'm not afraid. I, don't I wouldn't fear. do it anyway. That's I'm, the fucking point. I'm doing point. it so that this doesn't go further to where... Nope. You are going to be like, oh, you showed me a picture, so therefore you must like me. You must think I'm special. 
I don't want to uh, go I'm doing there. This as, I'm doing this as, so it doesn't go further either because it, you've, you've done enough fucking damage. You don't want me. You want every fucking guy down there. You, you can go on a fucking Again, baby, whatever. I don't. I mean, seriously, why do we have to keep going through this? Why? Because you don't want to give me a fucking chance. I'm not hanging around. You actually don't want to be my friend? No. Is, you're, is you're, you're the one that did, did all the fucking damage. You don't want me to help you the way that I've helped you all of this time? You're the one that did all the fucking damage, Debbie. But why? Why can't we Don't be keep friends? fucking denying bullshit. Why can't we be friends, Lauren? Why? Why would I want to be? When you tell me that you don't fucking, that, that, that you get me away from fucking Winnie, then all of a sudden you tell me you, you don't want anything to do with me? Fuck oh, you. Such I'm a worth a lot fucking, fucking more than that. Just going around in a then fucking it. circle. It's a carousel prove it. of Do you, of you want? You don't delusions. fucking want me anyway, remember? Right, I don't. But that doesn't mean right, there's not goodbye. some drunk hillbilly loser that has no teeth that want you. Hello. Hello, everyone. What? <laughs> Hello, everyone. Why are you being such a douche? Because you're... Okay, I'm going to move on to Lauren's skin. So I'm going to switch up my water. I'll be right back. I will continue the call. You're being a bitch to me. No, I'm not. Yeah, you are. I'm being nice to you. No. No, you're not. Have you ever had anyone who actually fought to be your friend? Who argued with you to be your friend? <laughs> anyone? I deserve a fucking chance, and I'm pissed off at you about saying, you know, you wouldn't give me a chance. To be pissed off at me. That's fine. Doesn't doesn't mean I have to have you in my life either, because that makes it worse. Because then I Why have to fucking talk worse? to you and know. Because I would feel because more it's... comfortable talking to you if I didn't have to feel like I had to walk on eggshells and be careful what I say, because you're going to pick out every little thing and be like, oh, you're going on a date, aren't you? And then you'd get all mad that I get nasty text messages and voicemails. I don't need to go through any of that. Yeah, well, you think I need to fucking know that you're going on a date and fucking meet somebody and you go fucking them? Well, here I am fucking still loving you. I don't fucking need that shit. And you don't want to give me a chance? And I know goddamn well I'm not fucking ugly. I don't give a fuck what you say about that. Okay, you're fucking fine. blind to that. That's your own fucking problem. Okay, fine. It's not mine, but I'm not gonna, I don't have to fucking stand around and uh, stick around for somebody that thinks I am ugly. Well, I'm sure there's a lot of people that think you're ugly and you have to stand around them. So you can be on the phone with yeah. me. I can, I can fucking pick other shit on people, too. Other people, too. Like what? I, I haven't met any one fucking person in the world that's been perfect. No, there's nobody. Yeah, that, in, that includes you. That includes you. Yeah, so? The only one I've ever met close to has been mom. A mom. I knew that was coming. <laughs> You're fucking right. I love my mother. She's I know awesome. you do. You spend so much time with her, I know. She doesn't fucking judge people off a look. You spend so much actually, time with her, Lauren. It's gets, really nice how you go over her house every day and make cookies good. I spend a lot of time with my mom. Yeah, you never spend time over here. That's what she said. Well, no, I, I see her all the time. She wouldn't have said that. I don't need, I don't need to be over her else to see her. Well, where are you going to see her? I see her in other places. Like what? The fair? That, that, that's, not, that's not the fucking point. Okay. Anyway. I uh, thought you were going to no. stop smoking. I am. It's not so easy to stop smoking. I thought you were going to do that for Winnie so that you could give her a kidney. Now she has to keep moving that magnet. Have you told her? I am I am trying to stop. It's not. All right. I'm back. What did I miss? Not easy to stop. But you're not stopping, so have you told her not to be stopping? I'm not stopping, on the but I've cut, I've cut back. I've cut back. Right. I'm, I'm gonna tell her. I'm gonna tell her that we're gonna move the day back. She knows. She not understands already. All right, Lauren's gross oh, she knows that face. She's gonna have to move the date again because she was really. I hope happy I got the, the mix said, this is the date. of his skin this color correctly. Well, I know. A year from now. I know. I got things in my life that are a little stressful and. Yeah, she does too. But I've got that. Kidney is not going to hang on forever. No, I know. While well, you're healthy, why don't you give her one of yours? You're a sister. I can't. Why can't you? Because her Hi, body Amy will reject Ramirez. mine. Well, how do you know that? Because I've already been tested. You don't think so that I've been tested for my sister? 
We've all been tested. What about your brother? Who the hell knows what planet Winnie came from? None of us are matches. Of course we did that, Lauren. <laughs> well, you never told me that before that you did it. Okay, well, I'm telling you now. The fact is, she would be so incredibly happy if she could have yours. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Real dope. The idea of having part of me and her. Yeah, it's never going to happen, though, because you can't just stop smoking. Well, you can't just stop. It's hard to just stop. That's why they invent the thing to try to get to help people stop. Then you shouldn't have told her that you were stopping and that that was the date. Well, they've been moved back a bit, but I'm trying. I'm trying very hard. I've gotten yeah, it to sounds cut like down. it. Sounds like it. I've got down. I've. Yeah. See, Lauren's skin tone, especially in this photo that I'm trying to, yeah, you know, trying to make it work. He has a little bit of, well, not too little, uh, a lot of redness in his skin. I'm going to assume mostly due to embarrassment. So, right now, hmm. Because I have a little, a little rouge to go where his cheek, where his cheek is to kind of mix in. But maybe I should mix that in with his skin. He's got a, he's got a bit of red hue. I don't know. It's from alcohol. <laughs> That's true. Oh, ain't that the truth? I've got down, so I'm, I am right, getting. I'm gonna there. try to mix some. I'm just saying that you've told her that you're quitting. You've made that promise a million times, and you can't stick to it. So just don't bother making it. Well, I am quitting. Okay. I'm trying very hard. I know. I know. Yeah, it sounds like it. Sounds like you're trying to back off on going on a date too. Why would I have to? You don't. We're in fucking any guy down there you want. Right, I'm a sexy I can't. man, I'm an adult woman. Yeah, you already did. Yeah, and you can fuck whatever guy you want too. And you'll never find me fucking a guy. I'm like the date that you had last night. Oh, that silly, silly brain of yours. Well, tell me why it is you you judge you judge people off of looks all the time. I don't do it all the time. Really? Yeah. This it might seems be awful funny that you're constantly better. saying something to me about look. Well, yeah, I'm saying it to you, <laughs> but I don't say that to anyone else. I wouldn't want to hurt their feelings. Okay, so what about what about that girl that had Winnie's phone when she invited you to go swimming? Oh, yeah, Linda. That was different. Why was that Excuse different? Me. Because Why was that different? she has meowy eyes. And there was some stuff coming out of it. Ooh. Like a yeah, I, uh, frog. Be I understand careful. that it was gross. It was like You're yellow totally matter fine. Yes, please take care of your, of, dog of your eyes. They're very, I understand very that important. it was gross. And I was yeah, on the phone with her when you came up. I was on the phone with her when better? you came up. Cause she, was, she was all excited about you coming over. And she didn't even realize the stuff was coming out of her eyes. I, she, I think that was the last time I talked to her because that was, that was when you and I first started out with Anyway, it upset me a little bit because of what uh, she said little, that she was going through with her little, roommates that her roommates were picking on her. Well, why did you stop that, talking to her if you felt so bad for her? She didn't, she didn't have the phone anymore. Oh, uh, but you still would have. I still would have talked to her, but then she also started coming on too, and, and I was, uh, you know. Oh yeah, you like it though. You may pretend like you don't at the very beginning, but then you give in, just like with Rhoda. Yeah, this is getting no, better. No, I didn't. No, we're going to give in. That's the reason I stopped talking to her. I wasn't going to. What is your hang-up with wasn't and weren't? Because you don't use them properly. So what? So what? You sound like a fucking moron. Maybe I like using them like that. It might be, might not be the he correct way to say it. He thinks it makes him, like, charming or Who in the fucking United States actually does say anything correctly? Grammar. Nobody. I have never heard anyone say weren't in the wrong way like you do. <laughs> well, that's the only thing I say in the wrong way. Really? You know, what yeah. else do I say in the wrong way? There's a ton of stuff. I can start making a list. 
but you don't want to be friends with let's me, do, so I'm this. sure that this let's... is the last conversation we'll ever have. Well, you don't want to give me a chance. I just want to no, give I don't want. I don't want to date other... you. Yeah, if you wanted yeah. to before, but now you don't. You just want to give every guy, other guy, a chance. Well, every other guy knows how to say weren't oh, and wasn't properly. So, well, every other guy likes to cock in pussy too. They do. Yeah, like your date last night. You seem to be talking about yourself. No, I wasn't your date last night. No, but I was you were talking. That, I was only. You were talking about yourself. I was just the one that you were supposed to be supposed to be spending time yeah. with last couple of nights. Yeah. Oh my yeah. God, were you talking supposed about supposed to be spending time I'm not with? Not in the car. No. <laughs> Sorry to disappoint you. No, you are though. You must be. Sorry to disappoint you on that. You're obsessed exactly, with that. Amy. No. Exactly. Yeah. Not even. Not even a little bit. Don't a lot of it. No. That's not the correct way to say that. What? A lot of it. There's no such thing as a lot of it. Not the correct way to say that. Oh, okay. <laughs> but I was saying that as being sarcastic. You say weren't and wasn't in the wrong way because you don't know how to say it in the right way. Well, maybe I just don't put much thought into it because I know what I'm saying. Well, no, you don't know what you're saying. That's the point. Well, I weren't concentrating on it. <laughs> I weren't concentrating on it. Exactly. I'm oh, sorry. I wasn't concentrating on it. I'm yeah. supposed to say it backwards. I don't want to disappoint you. Dude, Scarlett, I was thinking the exact same thing. Like, oh, well, everyone that wants to date date Debbie is a, is a cocksucker, but I want to date Debbie, but I'm not a cocksucker. What the fuck type kind of logic is, is that, dude? Come, I mean, anyway, come can we be on. friends? You gonna give me a chance? No. At what? Being your friend? Of course. A chance at us actually dating at some point. No, I can't say that now. Well, I can't say that we're gonna be friends either. Okay. That's really too bad. Because that's oh, what really we could be right you now. And you don't wanna do that. We could date sometime too and you don't wanna give that a chance. No, because I don't know you in that way. Yeah, well, you're getting to know me in that way. You're getting to know me, but, but you're telling me out straight that you don't want to date me ever. I'm telling you out straight that <laughs> I don't want to date you. Tell you what, can you hear me? Um, yes. All right, we might get chopped up a bit because I'm next to a river. Ah, uh, okay. I hope you don't might fall in. Might even be one point where, no. Oh, you Might be that. one point in the boat. Yeah, Amy, yeah, it's I, very, it's, I I he only in. sees in black right. and white. That tells me tells me you must care about me because you don't want to see me die. I must. So there's a start. I always said that I cared about you as a person, Lauren. Like, oh. I know. You don't care anything about me as a date. No, because we're not date. dating. I'm going to start taking a tally yes. of how many times I have to say, no, we're not dating. And read off the how, uh, I've got. I've got to understand this. Okay. How is it, how is it that you was ever going to marry Gigi, but you don't want to give me a chance to date? I had a relationship with Gigi. I don't have one with you. I want to be fine. You keep pointing you. that out. Right. And you keep pointing out that, well, you won't give me a chance. And you did before. All kinds of stuff. I know. It's, it's, it's upsetting to me. I well, don't let it be upsetting really, to you. I really have feelings for you. And that's, I've never believed in somebody like I believe in you. What does that and mean, that really believe in? You means I really believe in you as a person that you don't play with people. I'm not. And that's why I'm so pissed off. Okay, then be pissed off. That's fine. But you have to understand that the direction that you're coming from is all based on so this emotion looking. that you're having. It's not based on anything that I've done. You're just mad. Yeah, I'm, I'm mad because of, of what you've done. Tell you the truth? You just said that you really believed in me, and that meant that I'm honest. But yet, that's not what you want. Tell me the truth, but then you, but then you turn around and you yeah. deny things. And it's like, why the fuck would you deny it? No, I'm telling you the way that things were. I'm actually oh. being honest. You don't want to hear it. I don't want. I don't want to hear that. There's actually never going to be a chance for us eyes. to see what's actually there. Well, I don't want you to this hold on to this idea and make it your truth because it hasn't happened. No, it hasn't. You know, I, want, I want to know that there is a chance that it will happen. 
I want to know that. I don't know, know that. Gonna, I don't know that. That's what that's what I wanted you to to hear you say. Okay, but you're acting. I didn't as want. If I'm supposed to act. But I didn't like want you to come out happening. and say. I didn't want you to come out and say that there's no chance. Lauren, have you ever seen Dumb and Dumber? Yeah, I have. Okay. Do you remember at one point Lloyd is talking to? Yeah, I know this. So you think there's a chance? He right. does that that's so exactly well. Yeah. Who you are. You are that guy. No, I am not that guy. Yes. This guy actually gives a fuck about you. Well, I think this that guy has every give reason to too. give a fuck about you. This right. guy has every reason to give a fuck about you. He does, it's not your looks that he gives a fuck about. He's not basing anything that he gives a fuck about you on your looks. Well, who said that anyone was? So you seem to be big on that. I think that everybody's ju- is going to judge somebody off their looks. So I'm not, I weren't raised that way. I give a fuck about the person. Yeah, it's not it's not an exact quote, but they can be the best looking right, fucking person in the world. But if they're a shitty person on the inside, who know. the fuck wants to be with them? Mm-hmm. Right. I never knew exactly what you were. All I was doing was going by what Emma and Dan told me, and Winnie told me, and you told me. More right. like well, one in a million. Emma and Winnie told me that Winnie looked like fucking Casey Morrow. She don't look like Casey Morrow. Where the fuck did they ever get that? I have no idea. So why should I believe you look like fucking Malibu Barbie? Don't. I don't care. I never I never went off your looks. Right, because you don't know what I look like. Yeah. Yeah. Other than... I mean, honestly, if anyone really looks like Malibu Barbie, that's fucked up. Those are some really bad and unhealthy proportions for a woman so the fact that Lauren sees that as like the perfect woman is it's so Lauren Lauren the picture that your brother had on on there right so yeah if that's really you on there then yeah I do know what you look like now okay still fucking that wasn't even an an actual photograph correct Because you go crazy over things. Look at what I don't get crazy over things. Are you kidding? This whole conversation has been crazy. The million times that you've hung up on me this whole time has been crazy. And I don't want you jerking off to it. That would be disgusting. Oh, uh, you give me a fucking break. I don't use pictures when I jerk off anyway. I don't use what? You probably jizzed all over the postcard that I sent you. Oh my god! Are you serious? It's stuck here. You probably are chance. serious. I, I don't know why I'm asking that. You probably are serious. Yeah, I know. Jeez, <laughs> oh, I have n- I have never jerked off to a picture in a magazine or yeah, anything superficial else. Superficial and I have a very good delusional. imagination. Right. So you remember the picture in your brain, and then that's the picture what of you what? Do. Of what? Oh, of you? Of the one? Uh, no. I create my own image in my Good, fucking brain. Lauren some blood. Why do I, I need to tell you that? Like... What, do, what, do, what do you do? It's none of your business. Tell what about no, 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 no. I'm telling you my business. You tell me your business. No. Hey, why? Scared? Yeah, I'm scared. Yeah. Yeah. Because you don't want to be honest with me on that one. Yeah, he doesn't need to look at porn. He has a great imagination. I no, I didn't. Okay. So why are you so private with me when I'm so open with you? Because you take things That's a to personal the next choice. level, apologizes, and tells me that I'm so special. Well, uh, really, you are. You yeah, are I know special. I am. I know. I know. You haven't ran away when I've had some of my problems. You actually stuck around and helped me, and that was right. And so I have really been trying to help taste. you. As a friend, which is exactly what a friend would do. But you can't do that. And that's the reason why I don't tell you a bunch of shit. Because if I do, it's somehow going to get thrown into my face and used against me and all of that. I, I'm not interested. It's really disappointing that we have to have these conversations as often as we do. Telling someone that you're not interested in dating them, you want to be their friend. You want to speak. Oh, good evening, Madam Kelp Hill. Namaste. 
We're painting some Lorne tonight. Speak to them. You want to help them through whatever it is that they need to go through because right now it's a lot of stuff. And I think I can help you do that, but you don't let me because right above that is you wanting to have a romantic relationship and it's just not there. It, it never should have been like it was. Okay, but whatever that is, whatever you have in your head, it's not like how it was. We're going to draw the line in the sand again, uh, which is what I thought we did, and we're going to forget it. And we're going to move sad, on. Sad tears. We're, no, we're not going to forget it. Why? So you can torture yourself? Why? So we can continue no. to have the same conversation that is so fucking boring. I mean, if anyone else had to listen to this, they would just be rolling their eyes. That's how pathetic it is. Because before you were in, it was in the hospital, I loved it. Okay. When you was in the hospital, <laughs> there's that famous line. I, I loved it. I loved it when uh, you were in the it was hospital. Like I was actually getting to see the you that I didn't see before then when I was with Winnie, and you were in California. Instead, when you were in California, it seemed like you were acting, uh, trying to purposely act like a bitch to me. And I was like, what the fuck? I didn't, don't even know He's her. so sad and like so lonely. Then, Look at the relationship you and Winnie had. If you guys actually yeah. were together in the Yeah. Room, He's trying to, like, do the Valley Girl domestic voice. Domestic violence all day. No, because I don't hit women. It doesn't mean that you're just going to punch someone. That's not necessarily just domestic violence. It could be that you're not allowing her to leave. You lock the door and block her way. It could be you're holding on to her. So she can't move. There's a ton of stuff that goes along with domestic violence. Yeah. Any but, kind of I, way of intimidation, scaring her, screaming at the top of your lungs when you're fucking wasted. If I stood in front of the door and didn't and blocked your way out, I'd be afraid for going out and doing something fucked up, getting hurt or hurting someone else. When I've heard you guys on the phone and you're screaming and I've heard you screaming at your brother, throwing shit around, hitting him. Mm -hmm. Hitting him. He, he hit me too. He was actually on the side matter. of the fucking It doesn't thing. matter. Right. Exactly. So you're going to justify it all day He thinks long. it's like a good time. Like, oh but yeah, that that's, mean that's, that's what that's the bros off. do. That's brotherly love. We've done there that we all go. our lives. We, we oh, bro yeah, out. Totally. And that's what you would say with Winnie. Oh no, I love her. We scrap like that all the time. Well, when he was doing drugs, we that's our closeness. Had, she, she had me stressed right out. The point I'm is, so Lauren, you everything. guys had a horrible <laughs> relationship. It was extremely abusive and unproductive. Yeah, I know. Okay, I know. so as her sister, I'm going to stand in the way of that. I'm going to tell you what the problem is. And if you're the problem, I'm going to tell you about it. I'm going to tell you to go fuck off. I'm going to tell you that you need to work on yourself and you need to allow Winnie to get better. But you didn't want to do that. I love so her. So instead, you took and pretended like you liked me to get me away from Winnie. Oh, no, this is too that dark. That wasn't the point. No. It was just flirting. Where are you now? I just pulled into my house. I got these two by sixes that I... I'm having a lighting oh, issue tonight. Got down tonight. in the hallways, in the tr in the car. So, but the point. Oh shit. The point was that there was more than flirting. In in my head and with what you were doing. If you knew what you were doing. In his head. Then you wouldn't have done the stuff that you did. Which head? In your head, you thought that it was more than flirting, and it wasn't. And you keep telling yourself that, but no, I don't. I'm telling that. you that. Tell me, you can See, tell me that exactly. all you want. Doesn't mean I'm gonna believe it. Exactly. This is what I, this is what I'm saying. I'm not gonna believe it because of the way you were. I'm telling you the way that it was. Hi babies. Hi babies. What's up, honey? Oh, here we go. <laughs> Biscuit talk. Oh my goodness! This is a big yawn. You want a biscuit? Mm. Little girl, you want a biscuit? Big old big handsome doofy baby. Me too, Kelpel. I mean, from what I heard on Clobber Stream with Tiffany and Joey, I could be I could be wrong, but it sounded like a lot of the flirting came from the text messages, which 
I believe Ember was doing the texting and, and Tiffany was just a voice. But there, I know I've heard a call where there, where there was, there was some flirting and I, oof, and I can't think about it. And my mind was freaking blown that the pedophile call was a Casey call. I, I thought it was Debbie. Dead rubber belly. Yeah, oh. <laughs> she does it all the time. I'm going to give her a biscuit when I get home. And then instead of taking the biscuit, she won't take the biscuit until I rub her belly. So, it's all in Lauren's cute. head. In Sorry. Your head. I think my dogs are cute. Yeah, that's something to apologize down, for. Couple. Instead of apologizing okay. for being a fucking asshole, apologize oh, for cool. thinking that your dogs are cute. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah, well, good you, for you, you think you I'm fuck. so bad to my dog. I'm not supposed to think my dogs are cute. Did you, you take Sadie to the vet to have her nails clipped? I did. When was that? And that was. Uh, Ooh, was three, interesting, Cal Pill. Three or four months now. That kind of sounds a little to take familiar. Her more recently than that. But yeah, that well, make uh, that I that would make a lot of sense. Around to doing it more recently right now. Her nails are very yeah, long Omega. Long. She did. Uh, I saw them in that claim like earlier the in the in this uh, call that, that she yeah I, think, uh, I took her after that at the hospital and, she and I think it, you know yeah, I had on a lot of it. drugs and sometimes y you say All things. Way, Mom. All right, I certainly hope so because she can't have nails like that. That's gonna hurt her feet. I know I gotta get one of them things for for dogs that I can do it myself. Nope, 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 nope. Well, I would now, never trust more with a fucking dog clipper. I don't even yourself. trust myself don't know how. with it. You I leave that to the professionals. You end up hurting her. No, because I know you don't cut down to the roots. Take her, but you're not going to be able to see them exactly. So you That's need why to the, take them the new, to a groomer. It's the, not that expensive. There's a new machine that they have all, that takes it down just so far so you don't get to the roots no i really think that you need to take her and have it done no i'd, I'd like to do that yes scalp pill exactly i'd rather not do it myself I right don't. don't do it yourself don't spend my money dogs on, are on quiet stupid machine so, i mean i guess it, it is kind of easier she's gonna to see where into the a machine root of the nail is something but that's going to grind I, her I nail just, i can't yeah, i could never nail. risk it right to make it look good on the commercial of course, of course they, they do, do. Of she course needs to they have do. Clip more regularly than that, especially with how long they are. You're so pretty. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> wow. Are you saying, oh, Jesus? I just told her oh, she's so Jesus. pretty. Jesus. Trying to change the subject. No, I, was, I went in there, in there to work. He's trying to I mean, sound I'm cute you. because he's a <laughs> dog <laughs> lover. Okay. He's a dog disgusting. daddy. You say what? God. My, my feet are looking better than what they were. I wouldn't eat each cobbler off of those things. Holy shit. Why I, wouldn't want anybody, I wouldn't want anybody to. Why would, they, how would anybody want to? Very disgusting. What? Why are you saying that, that, that something about me is disgusting? Are we friends now? I don't know. Are you actually going to think about giving oh, yeah. a chance down the Scarlet. road? No. For Why? Because sure. you want to be stubborn? No, because I'm telling you, I don't want to. I don't want Maybe you to don't just want... to be friends because you think that something is going to happen down the road. Yep. No, I would, I would actually like to be friends. Good. <laughs> I do, too. <laughs> no, he doesn't. Oh, my I want God. You to keep mind like Jesus open. came down and blessed oh, our oh, friendship. Oh, I, I want you to keep your mind open. I don't want you closing me out to, to dating. Oh, you know, God. I mean, that'd That's... be a dumb thing to do because... Okay. You know, I've, I'm sure this has been said. I probably have said it. But, so it's okay for Lorne to be friends with Emma and Winnie, even though he, deep down, still, well, first of all, Emma is his little, like, 
he thinks of her he thought of her as like his little henchman his you know her little like his um little spy on all his on all his woman and but he still has a thing like he still has that mindset of just in case they might become available i can i can have them on the back burner so that's why he won't be friends with debbie unless there was a ch- you so so you're saying there's a chance oh so desperate i think we could have really something really good okay well i don't know that so i'm just gonna be your friend and i'm not gonna think about the future and I think that would be a good idea for you, too. Why have you been so persistent tonight on wanting to be my friend? Because I'm trying to make things clear with you, and I'm trying to see if that's even possible. Why do you think I'm so stupid? Well, you've proven that you're stupid. <laughs> no. Yeah, you have. Many times. There's actually documentation of how stupid you are. Uh, uh, some things oh, I've done have been stupid. Yeah, maybe they have. I'm not the only one in the world that does that has done stupid no, things. No, but again, you're going back to your, I'm going to talk about other people and see how we're all the same. Because other people have done bad things, too. So somehow yeah, that takes a little I don't, bit off of me. I don't like being attacked. I've been attacked a lot. I feel okay. very attacked. And I'm not I don't like being right attacked now. all the time. Yeah, and I'm not attacking you. So I'm just trying to make you understand why I do that. People like to attack other people, but they don't look in, well, you said it, and it takes me one day. Wow. When fucking Jamie Amy said something about you, uh-huh. we, was talking, we was talking, I told you about what Jamie Amy said, and you said, why do? Why does everybody talk about me? Why can't they talk about themselves? Well, that was a that's very what I said. Good uh, oh, gee, I wonder, one for the books. I wonder how that feels. Well, that's not the same thing. I've never been there before. I'm saying don't talk about me because that's what all of you people do. You just talk about well, me the, and what I'm doing. What do people do with me? I don't know. What do they do with and you? And it's, it's not just our small group of friends. There's like thousands of people up on thousands of people. Yeah, that I know. talk about me. Right. <clears throat> There's nothing I can do about it. No, there isn't. I've learned to deal with that. It fucking pissed me off and bugged the living no, fuck out of me. I don't think so. When it first happened. Mm-hmm. Finally, I realized there's nothing I can do about it. They're going to do whatever they want anyway. Right. They're going to keep pointing the finger at me, but then they don't turn around and look in the mirror. There's a little bit of a difference there. I mean, they're pointing at you oh. for something that's pretty fucking serious. And Yeah. Mm-hmm. And pro- I'm, I'm, I'm betting probably 50% of them people that are pointing at me have their own skeletons in their own closets. Everybody has skeletons in their closet. Everybody does. Yeah. Yep. And I'm I'm saying probably of the same thing that they're pointing at me about. No, why? Why would you assume that? Because you want to think because, that there's more people like you. No, because yeah. most people that attack people for a certain for a certain thing have done that certain thing themselves. So they attack somebody else that has done it. So it makes Not them feel better and look. You know, for his birthday this year, part of me wants to send Lauren a copy of the agreements. Look better to the, to the Is public. that a therapy thing to say? Is that what Allie told you? I've been told that by therapists. Well, what about Emma? Has she ever told you that? No, Emma's never told me that. Okay. But not every therapist is gonna is gonna say that. Right. But I but I've been told that by a couple of therapists. Yeah, the ones who are trying to make you feel better about yourself mm-hmm. and trying to get you to stop crying. No, okay, now you're trying to say that that, that there's no therapist that is going to say that when you don't know. You can't say things that you don't know. I'm saying that you are taking something like that and you're trying to make yourself feel better about those who are talking about you. No, it's already been proven. Where is you it proven? At the, the, the first chat log that we had, yeah, the the part one, where that okay. fucking guy turned himself in. Okay. He he'd been pointing his finger. 
And he's been doing the same same fucking thing that he was uh, laughing about from someone else. Okay. So that's one person. How does that become 50% of the people? That's one person that had the balls enough to get out and say that he actually did it. Honestly, Lauren, I can probably tell you that most of the people who have made comments on your videos, who have called you names, who have regurgitated your chat log back to you, are doing it because they hate you. They hate what you did. I hate what I did. Right, but I'm telling you that that's the reason why they do it. They're fascinated about all of the guys that they've seen on the show. And they think, holy shit, these are the types of people that are around me. People that are around my own kids in my own family. You would never know it by looking yeah, at them. They were not but here the they are, walking therapist. into the house. And it's okay. crazy. Think... Your chat log, Lauren. I wonder, because I think it's been said that he didn't actually have a therapist. He had like an alcohol like counselor. Excuse me. Pick up. But I wonder, comma, if whoever he he talked to, did they, I don't know. I mean, it it would kind of be, they're they're like what uh, uh, Bailey said. They weren't a good therapist, but maybe they just saw Lauren as a lost cause. Boom, Scarlet. There it is. We read That's it. the answer right there. It's he crazy. heard yeah, nothing. I yeah. I retract right. and it's what I just up. said. And, and I get That's that there it. was a lot of fucked up stuff, you know, for the perverted reason. He only hears you know, what he wants stuff, to hear. Even just the possessiveness. Like, talking to a 13-year-old about having this fantasy of a life together was fucked up. Yeah, I know. We're going to go to really Hawaii weird. for a honeymoon. Yeah. Right. There's a lot of people who are going to look at that and they're going to say, wow, he has a YouTube channel. He has videos. I'm going to go say something to him. People who have had real impact of being a victim or knowing a victim and knowing all of the stuff that has happened to those people's lives because of people like you, they're going to take that anger and they're going to push it toward anyone who's available. And you happen to be available. Fucked up all that whole thing has grown yeah kill pill i I kind of agree like after you keep putting how many years she's she probably just that you're so concerned about getting your computer back so that you can go on to social media and what's going to end up happening is you're going to have someone make some kind of a comment to you that is either flirtatious or maybe can seem like they're a nice person and all of a sudden here comes lorne like, this is the one. I'm going to get her to. And, and you have yourself another catfish. The big reason why I wanted to compute my computer back was so I keep an eye on what people are doing. We'll keep an eye on it. But what do you... Didn't he just say that he doesn't care what other people are saying about him? What can they do then? Well, like, selling things in the store with my face on them without my permission. Okay, so what did the attorney say about that? This is that that's something that we can go after, but I have to, have to bring in actual paperwork to him, showing them proof of that of people doing that. Right. So which I don't have a computer, so the only ones that I can rely on is you, Winnie, and Emma. Okay. I try to keep my family out of this stuff because I don't want mom getting stressed out about any of it. So cause she knows she already knows about some of the stuff on there, and. Mm-hmm. get more concerned about her all the time. Well, what about your friend that's supposedly helping you? Have them do it. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm going to tell you something, but you have to keep it to, to you and not tell anybody else. Okay. Okay, Lauren, we won't Promise say me? a thing. Yeah. Okay. There is no other friend that does it. Mm-hmm. Roy is, is the one that goes over and that sits at the computer or mom, and I, I tell him where to go. Oh, okay. What to put in. There is no okay. other, no friend that does it. I will say, uh, shout out to uh, <laughs> Pepper. Um, God, was it last night or the night before? Uh, Bapsby's, was it Bapsby? Oh, no, 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 no. 
it was Clobber's stream with Tiffany and Joey. There was someone in the chat defending Lorne, and uh, Pepper just replies, Hi, Lorne, or hi, Roy. It's good. It was really good. Okay. I let people. I let. I let you guys keep believing that because that way, well, not necessarily you, but I let Emma and, and Winnie believe that because of the stuff that they pulled on me in the past. Okay. So that it, so that it gives me that little thing, so that you know if, if they tell me something that seems a little off to me, then they then they'll know that I do have somebody back here that that can check on them. Yep, Poop Frog, he did say that too, that he's trying to keep his mom out of it, but I'm sh- he for sure demands his mom to go on the internet and look at everything that we're all saying about him. Okay, so what exactly is he doing? I don't really understand what he's looking for. I don't get no, it. He'll just, what, who's looking for? Roy. Roy's not looking for anything. Roy, see, I can I can stand behind the computer and look at it all I want to. Mm-hmm. No, I don't I can't think so. Be Lauren. On the computer, right? I can't physically be on the internet. Okay, myself. Right. I can't be sitting in chair. I can't be sitting in front of it. Yeah. And, and operating it, but right. I can stand behind anybody that's that's sitting in the chair and operating it. I don't think okay. so. So I tell Roy where to go or Mom where to go, and. So that I can look at what I what I want to look at. Okay. That's where I get my information. I don't do it that often because well, why do I want to keep bug, bugging them to do that? I mean, but you, you do you it anyway, Lauren. Pretty much tell me everything I need to know, and, I, and I, I trust you guys. Well, you I trust more than anybody because you've never because you want to fuck her. The, well, Winnie and Emma did. Right. But now I've gotten to trust Winnie and Emma more. She said, and I don't want to tell Winnie and Emma anything about them. Okay. But Emma, I still, I still feel off sometimes about Emma because it sounds like sometimes she'll say some things that just seem really off. Okay. It doesn't really feel right. So it makes it, that's why I don't trust Emma all the way when she says some stuff. Okay. Does that make more sense to you now? Yeah, I guess it's interesting that Roy's looking at it. Well, Roy's not really looking at it. He, he's actually on his. Oh, oh yeah, Crime Watch Bailey. I have. They haven't shown, not their face, but they haven't shown up in my comments lately, and they've showed up to other content creators, mostly um, like smaller ones. That bitch and complain about leave lord alone and you're just bullies and hence that's why sometimes bully squad gets brought up because that's what they claim that we are but yeah there are people that are (laughs) who they are or or what but reborn Yeah, Omega, that was cra- that was crazy. But like at the same time, I don't know. Like I feel like that's such a doesn't that like kind of feel like, not like a win, but something that's like like he's aware and he said it before that he remembered some of the names because sometimes he'll remember like things that he he says or some of his like phrases or whatever and he like doesn't like it (laughs) it's just so funny this is so this is so wild guys i love this ipad talking to some girl that i don't know that that he thinks is real Oh, really? So meta. So meta. So meta. Thinks is real. That must be so crazy to be talking to a girl you think is real. <laughs> yeah, it's fucking nuts. And it sucks. And I was trying to get away from that. And yeah, poor Roy. He's talking well, to a woman and there was who isn't real. Posing as, 
education. I kept believing. Yeah, it's very like surrealism. Really seemed off. I was like, like, well, Emma would would tell me the difference. Uh huh. No, not realizing that Emma really knew that it wasn't Casey, even though she said she never really. Lauren's storyline, no matter what saga, pick it, whatever you want, you know, do a grab bag. That would really be like an amazing, like avant garde piece. I can totally see it now. They saw what Casey looked like. Like a stage production. I, I knew she did. And there's no way you can mistake. I mean, they don't look anything alike. Right. And I. Um. Well. The one that was on a clobbering stream, uh, they were more like, he paid his debt to society, he made a mistake, move on with your lives, and then no one was really addressing them for a while, and they were like, oh, wow, I'm getting ignored by the lornographer, or whatever he uh, called us. But... The person that I've had contact with, they focus more on the bullying aspect that we are doing so much damage to this person that we're going to cause Lauren to do self-harm. And uh, I still believe, according to Ramona... He is the last person that would ever do that. I mean, I'm hearing a little bit of static. I, I wonder why. But who knows who these people can be? They can honestly be just a troll, just trying to like, you know, mess with everybody. Or yeah, the bullying. Yeah, exactly. That's the thing that gets some of us, like, tickled because they'll just comment and call me or other people that have, like, comment on my stuff or someone else's uh, stuff. It's, like, calling us names and it's just... It's like, okay, so you don't want us to to bully Lorne, but you'll tech you're technically bullying me to stop bullying Lorne. It just doesn't That yeah, Kelpil <clears throat> excuse me, that could be it as well. And honestly, I kind of find that I don't want to say, like, cool, but it's, like, all right. Like, if you're, if you're, if you're in cahoots, you're cahooting with Lauren, I mean, that's fine. I mean, they have, they totally have a right to do that. Just like we have a right to do what, what we are doing. Amber did it a lot, a lot of that. Oh, Amber herself. Oh, interesting, interesting. Such a weird thing to do. Or did she do that to, I mean, I don't, I, I know absolutely nothing about Ember. I was, this is only my second year in the teacup lornography uh, realm. But I wonder if she did that just to kind of counterbalance the the bad comments. So just in case Lorne or someone that Lorne knows would would see it. I don't know. I wasn't around for all that, so I can't. It sucks, but I can't. I can't speak on it. I knew Emma knew that, and then. When Emma went to this this concert, you know, they sent me oh, a okay. picture. Okay, Okay, so well, what together. I was saying was kind of supposed to be Winnie when she was posing as Casey. Valid. And they photoshopped Casey's face on the 
I don't know if I don't know if they've Emma said they you've had them on your live on the, on the Bailey. Block. Damn, that's that, some balls. That was true this dude, this was actually person. Just but I don't want to they assume Photoshop gender, of being course, in the but you know what I'm they will All right, yeah, take yeah, time out of their day. Like, I don't care. You want to dislike my shit? I don't oh, fucking care. You don't like my shit? Then no, don't. Then yeah. No, what did you know about that? It's not gonna hurt my feelings. I really didn't know anything. No snot out of my nose. Did my own thing. You know, even when I was out in California doing the same kind of stuff i was working ah, when he's running around doing that makes whatever sense i mean i didn't really pay God, that I'm much learning attention stuff from you guys this is great tell me a lot people of would try to kind of crazy like shit up and i would just say okay more and by well. defending him <laughs> don't shit in the tub <laughs> that kind of stuff when did like you when did you start getting on the computer i've always been on the computer having Thank internet you. access and things like that i mean it's a huge part of life you know when you go to work a lot of stuff is on the computer and I feel like you know Lauren managing things right at now, home like shopping or a little a Facebook, little too whatever. red it's all on there okay. a little too red but i'm talking about tiffany and clubber time oh when did you start that oh i don't know oh. i don't really remember exactly but derek's been up to it that. for no i don't derek's been up to it for years the celebrity shit yeah, is funny he has. i remember seeing derek on it years ago <clears throat> yeah he's one of those people that is fascinated with the show can't fucking believe that there are guys who are so stupid to fall for it and actually show up so it's one of his hobbies he just he makes videos he, and he, he talked to other people about it too what does that do for him i don't know i guess he gets his jollies what does his it jollies. do for you when when you was on it, well, I think it's interesting. I'm not really involved in in the internet world, like really deep into social media and going crazy with it. I don't post all the time and stuff. I don't have my own channel, but you know, there's a lot of people that do, and Derek's one of them. I guess I'm just trying to trying to understand what people, what kind of thrill people get off somebody else's mishaps, misfortunes. And... And you no know, mistakes. We've talked about that's it before. a common I mean, this thing, Lauren. Or a misfortune or a mistake. You know, they're looking at something that was really deliberate, that wasn't intended to be found out, and it was found out. And I'm like, yeah, ah, I know. Oh yeah, that kills me, yeah, Kelp. That he truly believes that Conan O'Brien. I mean, it had been going on for a couple uh, of Sylvester years. Stallone. Oh. Leah Remedy, Dolly Parton were like <clears throat> just before those couple years, coming together. <laughs> I'd never done, never, never even thought of doing to anything help like that. Well, who? I mean, that's a relevant to help at what? This point. It really is. I mean, because this guy, honestly, you know, before it it turned out that man, you know, we talk about sto- the, the the shit. Like, I bet it, was it didn't kind of take that like much thing, to convince Lauren you know, that these so honorable the celebrities and then it actually that gave a shit about real him people. being off the registry, exactly getting out of jail. Like, are you like Kayla. to quote Lauren? Are you fucking kidding before, me? So you know, there there was a huge huge problem happening, and it's my own there personal was. It was an injustice that it happened more than the couple of people that you talked about. Listen, stuff, Lauren, stuff was happening. I want you know that it was. I want you to listen to me. Okay. There was no more than what I've told you. Okay. There's, there's nothing else I can say. To get you to he believe thought Shin's koala was a but, celebrity. Uh, I'm telling you all straight. There was no more than what, what I've told you. So what you know is is everything. Okay. So I've got a press telling you because it's like the drinking thing. Emma tried pressing me that I was drinking last night. Yeah, I was drinking. I was drinking coffee. Well, Lauren, I, I got mad about it because. She's trying to tell me that I was drinking when I weren't drinking. Well, you have to understand. And you did the same thing today, and I was like, uh, what? Like, you have to Christ understand, weren't drink, weren't Lauren, you have to understand where that comes from. That comes from every other time. Did Lauren name drop Shin's it. Koala? And that's exactly what you say. Coffee. I'm drinking coffee. As if you're so offended that anyone would ask <clears> if you were drinking, and then all of a sudden, 
it comes out that you were. And oh, everyone yeah. has oh, to yeah. say, yes, yes, okay, yes. When well, he was at of the, he was drinking. We knew it. At the courthouse for yeah, a second. I, was, I also told whatnot. you that okay, I'm not going to yes, lie yes, to you anymore. That. Good. I'm glad that you're not going to lie. The thing with that and for having trust and believing what you're saying is there has to be a pattern there. And it has to go on for a certain amount of time. I know. It used okay. to be reverse with me. I don't care. Used to be. Well, I care. It used to be so because Italian. that's what I want to so be. So Italian. Again. Okay, but you're going backwards like 30 years, Lauren, and saying, well, I used to not do that. I used to be a good I know. person. You know? I mean, come on. Shins is obviously well, the, Mario's other, other brother. I do that because I didn't. Uh, I go in my own head and I try to figure out where the hell I started doing that. Because Italian goes and Why down. I started doing it. And it all comes back to the same place. When I came home from Washington State and I was started being around sewers. Tony and Paul and and all the partying crap. Okay. So here, when was that? That started. was what? 2002? Yeah. Okay. So now we're almost 20 years from that. I know. You know? I, I... I mean, that's what I mean. If if you are in the mindset where you're saying, I want to figure this out. I want to figure out where I started going wrong and how it happened. That's fine. But when that stops you and you saw yourself and you say, well, I need to figure out where I went wrong. And that's kind of your backfall because ultimately you can't figure it out. So in he doesn't want to figure years, it out. He doesn't want to do the work. You're asking yourself the same question getting the same responses you haven't budged you're the same asshole there's just going to be a different group of people that you're being an asshole to sucks being an asshole too i hate it okay well stop being one well, i'm not trying yeah. to be one but you were one today I, is what the point is I, yeah because my feelings are involved and okay you know, but I, don't I, say i don't want to be been... an asshole and then but my feelings were involved so it's okay to be one <laughs> Well, I've been played with so much that it, you know, it, it's taken a toll on me, and I get really defensive. Obviously, it hasn't well, taken that much of a do, toll do whatever, because you're Lauren, still because the doing the, the same is, shit. Is that at some point people are going to go away? Emma's going to get tired of your shit and she's going to walk. Dan's going to get tired of it and he's going to skip away. I'm going to get tired of it and I'm going to walk too. And so is Winnie. Yeah, the old bad shit came from my drinking. That definitely didn't help anything. No, that hurt things. But you weren't drinking today, myself. right? And you were still an asshole to me, holding me to be a girlfriend when I'm not, acting as if I'm cheating on you when I'm not. I was acting her. I'm not going to say I'm not. I'm, I'm not going to say I'm still not her. I am her. Go ahead and be hurt, but don't be an asshole to me. All you're doing is you're giving yourself justifications to be that way. Just like when you made justifications that... Your family didn't make you mac and cheese. You didn't get that kind of stuff when you poured your, you know, your money into helping them out. Well, thankfully those days are over. Okay, good. Well, keep having other days like that. Don't be a fucking prick. Be an adult. Actually be one. <laughs> and don't say, I'm her. And go on your fucking date. You know, going out with cocksuckers. Fuck you, Lauren. <laughs> Seriously, fuck you. Fuck you. Uh, I, um, I was her because you fucking told me two nights in a row that, that you're going to call me. Big deal. Big fucking deal. Go and do something else. Because it, it, was, a big, it was a big deal to me because I, didn't, I think highly of you. And you know, when you tell, usually when you tell me something, that, that it's usually in stone. Okay, but I didn't bro. have a chance to call you, so you know what? Get over it. <clears throat> you know, if you think highly of of someone, if they didn't call you, in my opinion, if it was me, I'd be like, okay, you know what? They're probably busy. It's totally fine. It has nothing to do with me. It's them. They're busy. I know they'll call me. But automatically, it's this betrayal. You don't do everything perfectly. Don't think that you do. I know you, you think that you do everything perfectly, and you don't. Who the fuck cares? What are you talking about? No, I'm talking about you. What are you talking about? 
you always think that you do everything perfectly and you don't. What are you Am talking about? Am I clear, Debbie? Tell me what you're talking about. Like, I missed like last July. night. Waiting till 1030. Tell me. Oh, okay. Well, you know what? What time would have oh, been good to Yes, Kelp Hill, exactly. Time? Or be worried about huh? that person. Yes. Uh, what, maybe at 9 o'clock? I maybe that seven, that sometimes. <laughs> would that have been better? Would you have been, I don't know, maybe normal at that time? Would you say, okay, cool. We'll have a good time. Oh, I would have told you had a good time. Yeah. <laughs> I, mm-hmm. not have told I know, you because have a good you're time. a prick. Yeah. You're a, I know. <laughs> you're a prick. Uh-huh. You're a dick. Uh-huh. <laughs> It'll bite me. <laughs> no, like I said, I don't want to be infected with something disgusting. Don't go there. You don't want me to get my thing say shit. Don't go there. Well, I don't. Well, Debbie can so take it. Shit you like you me anyway. No, you know, you Girl, I was no. really fun. I'm throw up. Excuse me. Anyway. I'm going to throw up, you said. Really? Yeah. I'm get still real. very proud of my Dorlai painting. Real. I am real. You need, you're the one that needs to get real. I'm real. I'm standing right up right here. Come on up and see me. You so, be able to tell I'm real. When are you going to talk to Maria? I don't know. She hasn't called me back yet. I called her the day before yesterday. Hey, Rhoda. She hasn't called me back yet. So I, I don't know if she's just avoiding me or or what. But I mean, maybe, maybe this had to happen so I could get Things are more straightened out in my head. Maybe what had to happen? Maybe me getting suspended from class had to happen so I get things more straightened out in my head. Oh my god, suspended like they he's don't, in they don't a want to put me in jail. Teenager. They know I have a lot to lose and that I've been oh, and that I that I do good with working and, and putting into that's the about society. It. Huh? What do you mean that's so, about it? Well, going you go to work and Yeah. Yeah. I go to work, and I've been donating water to the homeless shelter. I've been... Jesus. I go over and help this. Mom. I help Not Aunt this. Sharon. I yeah, but the other, with the, with the, dogs, the other stuff that they told throw you up. to do, you don't do. I'm going to AA. What are the stuff? The drinking. You mean with the, in, the, the drinking is the only thing. He'll forever have that chest cold. So when you... The drinking... Disgusting. And, and they don't want me to, to have... Anything to do with, with anybody that I met from the internet, like Emma, you, Winnie, Dan. And I'm okay. telling them, no, they're not going to pick who I can have for friends. They're so concerned about me having you and Emma and Dan. Well, they're not so concerned about you. <laughs> I, told, I, I bet that's a lie. Bryce, I, I told them how much you would help me. And I told them that you're the only one that I've opened up to, like I've opened up ever. But Emma... Emma was a big one at first because um, <clears throat> when Mitchell was my probation officer before, um, yeah, would what a fucking bug guy. He'd find things out that Emma was doing. Okay, is he gonna be he your bring, officer now? Then he bring now? her back and show me. He, well, that's that's what the guy from uh, the, the polygrapher told me, and he told him. Mm-hmm. Told me that Maria told him. So I don't know. Maybe that's why Maria hasn't contacted me. <laughs> yeah, she's probably fucking done with yeah. you. When were you supposed to see her again? Hold on. I gotta put this on you. I gotta blow my nose. All right. Hold on. I gotta right. blow my nose. Okay. Did you use better. the tissue or did you just blow snot rockets all over the room? <laughs> oh, I just I just lifted up my t-shirt and blew my nose all over my t-shirt. I believe yeah, that. That's oh, that's <laughs> so hot. Okay, so, um, so Mitchell may not be back. I think he is because uh, the polygrapher told me that Maria told him. So okay. if Maria told him, Maria's going to be the first one to know. Well, Bryce would be the first one to know, then he'd tell Maria. And I guess Maria must have told the polygrapher and the polygrapher told me. Okay, so Maybe when would you blood. normally be meeting with her? I, there is no normal. Okay. It's whenever, whenever she tells me to come down or... It's the new it's normal. It's usually about it or whenever she shows up here. And then she always calls me before she shows up here to make sure I'm home. She knows okay. I work a lot of hours. Well, I'm just curious what, what they could be doing because it seems like... Any of this stuff would have to be in writing. Well, that's that's what I would think too. But 
I haven't signed anything. I mean, I don't know. Maybe they're not going to suspend me from class for long. I don't, I don't know. Like, I don't know anything. So they tell me. Did they give you a paper when you were taken out of that first class? Nope. Well, they gave me... Well, it's like every three months, I think it is, I have to sign a paper. Yeah, Rhoda, I, I see Dwayne him just doing that class. period. I can't remember signing any paper when I get out of the first class. Okay, so every three months you have to sign a paper. What is Because no matter saying? what, he's going to do oh, what he I wants to do. Little... No one's going to tell him to how to read it the first run time his life. I haven't read it. Since then, because I knew I was saying the same thing. Even if it's the fucking you know, I it's just, law. I think it's just something that saying that, I'm, that I have to take this class. Okay. Because of probation. Do you think that you being removed from that first class had anything to do with them thinking that it wasn't effective? Oh yeah. No, like as I was saying, you had to he thinks... go somewhere else to get your treatment. No, it's he not that serious. Be, Therefore, a different provider. He'll always get that slap on the wrist, but then there was that moment. It pissed me off at first quite badly because 2020, when he actually got as well as I do with females, got put away. Okay. And he thought he would just sign a paper and then up. All right, back to do whatever I want to do for a reason. But that didn't happen, did it, Lorne? To assign you to, but that doesn't mean that all of probation changed providers because everyone who was in the class with you would have had to move too. Yeah, he thinks probate like people in his probation or that have to do with probation. Are working Didn't for go to the him. Same class that I'm in. Mm-hmm. I think because he only, well, no, it was in the, in the same class, but he got moved to the one in Bangor, but he got moved a long time before I did. Okay. So I don't know. I mean, I don't, I don't talk a lot. <laughs> Maybe I don't that's talk why a lot you're that, failing. Well, especially in this class, because the guy doesn't give you a chance to talk. Mm-hmm. It, it's, it's pretty sad really compared to the other class to the one I was in with Gene but I don't talk a lot I stay quiet and I, I listen to what other people say and, and I don't say much he about, he's so about what I'm going special. through because uh, what I'm going through is just like he has a team stuff. and, and an entourage have, behind have him thoughts like to protect they him have, like the other the people protector. have mm-hmm. and uh, so there's really not much for me to say so I know they have a problem with me not opening up but there's not there's nothing for me to open up about in my life that I have now. It, it's stuff that I've opened up to you about that <laughs> I think they want me to open up about. And there's, well, now they're going to know everything about my past, but they don't know anything about now because there's nothing now. It's just now is just everyday stuff that the normal per- person thinks and does. Well, yeah, Lauren, well, you are kind of boring. Well, I think you can talk about the stuff that is in your past and the reason why you were there. Oh, yeah, but, but that I have to do. I have to do that in my assignments. Mm-hmm. And I, I got to write it all down and, and read it all. You know, and I don't want to say that it's not hard for people, but the way he... I don't know. I could totally sound like an asshole, but... He makes his sex offender class sound so complicated, like in a, like it's an AP class of like trigonometry or whatever, like honors class. It it just, it's his way of still making excuses to not talk about his past, his, you know, what got him to do what he did. It's just so ridiculous. It's just one excuse after another. It's pointing the finger at someone or something else. It's never fucking him. But it's like, the, it's not like, I was better off in Jean's class. Okay, but you're not in Jean's class. There's a reason why you were moved. And you were in there Jean's for class, four and a half years. 
But the thing is, like, and I'm just going by the assignment that you showed me, where you didn't answer the question at all. It had nothing to do with you being an offender and what you needed in order to not offend again. That was the question. You talked about the internet and how there's some people on there that might be one thing, but then they're really wanting you for money or whatever. It turned into this really weird rant. Yeah, but okay. Let me let me try to make this clear on yep. what my answer last was. Last in high school, because last in I know the what RSO it was class. that made my it, you know my head eighty-seven for life. And it was it was that would be funny. If what I allowed everybody to do eighty-seven. So what people I actually in need his, in his to never uh, to not offend class. again is to not allow people to do that same stuff to me again. To not allow allow people to use me and to not put myself in that same position I was in. Does that make well, sense? this is why you're in the class, Lauren. Because no, that doesn't make sense. I know you. You're looking for a completely different answer from from me for the, that has to do with kids and that Here's has to the do thing. with sexual assaults. <clears throat> it's not about me looking for an answer. I don't care what the answer is. But the point is, you're looking at it from the perspective of what happened in Nashville. But that is not when you became a sex offender. That's that's yep. when you became known. It goes all the way. It goes all the way before that to when I realized what what people were doing, but I didn't do anything about it, and and I just turned to somewhere where somebody wasn't going to use me. Then when I was down there, yeah. I was all <laughs> fucked up. He was, um, was different... voted most likely to end up. I don't know. In a well, because you're saying well, child I know. predator I sting. So what about little did they know that that sting would be on television? Well, I try to figure out why I went younger than I did. Well, I think I try to figure out why I did that. I think that I had time figuring that out. It was because she just happened to be that age. I think that if Kayla was fourteen or fifteen, it would have been the same conversation. It wouldn't have mattered. You're probably right wouldn't have mattered <clears throat> sucks so, so much to have to fucking think about this shit and figure it all out because uh, it just blows my mind that I ever put myself in this position that's why reading that chat log is so fucking hard for me to read that because read why that fucking thing. why do you I'm having a hard it? time kind of like what I did I, with George that I'm the one that said that stuff it may have been a little bit different when you were talking, to... is... but it was the same thing. Yeah, I'm not fully. That's the thing that you have to think in. about, and you have to process, and you have to put that kind of but stuff this is... in your answer. You can't dodge it. An early because stage of this, what so you're we still got time. Is to keep <laughs> from molesting children. It's going to depend on other people to not use you. I know that's not what I want. That's not the way I wanted to say. It's because it's not. I know it's not. I can't say it's those other people's fault. I mean, it's their their fault for doing for for wanting to use someone else. But it's it's not their fault that I allowed it. It's my right. fault that I allowed it. Yes, it's not their fault that you then turn that around and put your focus <laughs> onto these young girls. No, it's, it's all my fault that I did that. Right. It's been hard to come to terms with it. Yeah, but I feel like you haven't even come to terms. Oh, I've come to terms with it. I think I've, that there's... I've definitely come to terms with it that I have. I mean, reading that fucking chat log, it's hard to for me to think that I'm the one that fucking said that shit, but... I mean, it's, you were it's all right there, and Lauren. That's why it's so hard for me to read them. You were, you were uh, that guy. It's hard for me to you read them. You're still that guy. I'm saying penis and vagina and all that fucking crap. Yeah, it's um, that's Mr. Penis. But even beyond that, ooh, that's really like dark. I mentioned before. Yeah, it's, like it's not just that because that that is enough. You're right. But it's all the other stuff, too, about wanting this little girl to be a woman for you. I know. No. And that's the thing that was happening with too. You wanted yeah, her to be a woman for you. And there's, there's a lot there. 
I feel like that we haven't talked about. I really do because yeah, especially the dark. story of you going there. I think that there's a lot of missing pieces. Well, there was a lot of feelings between me and. There was feelings with yeah, you. Because, yeah, well, I know there was feelings with you too. Well, she was a <laughs> child, even, Lauren. Even, I, I know, but I, children have feelings. They, they do fall in love with people. God no, they don't. Damn it, Lauren. Uh, you, you never fell in love with, any, with anyone when you were in high school. She is not some. First of all, no. And then the other thing is, is that she was a freshman. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like it's no big okay. fucking deal. Well, my brother and sister-in-law were, were freshmen when they, well, actually sophomores when they started dating. Okay, good school. for them. They were both but sophomores. They were both sophomores. When they became adults. Yeah. Okay. And, and I, I understand that. I understand that. It's just, it's just I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to say that that somebody that age doesn't fall in love with with someone because they do it because they're it's feelings they're getting neck involved, rolls even it's though not, I know that their, their brain involved. is different it's their different. brain is different, brain it is is not different. your brain yet. is different they don't guys. understand that is why there is a law That's what I was trying to say. called statutory rape because a child does not have that understanding they are not able to make those decisions even if they say yes that yes means nothing. Mm-hmm. I know. What you said, I was, that's what I was trying to say. Do you think that if you asked her today what she thinks of you, Stupid she's going to say, oh, Lauren, I loved him. I don't know what she said today. Everybody's different. I know when I was that age, I I lust over, over women or over, over female, over girls my age. Right, girls your age. I, Mm-hmm. You didn't have someone in their thirties going after yeah, even, you. Well, even even a year older than me was was stretching it. So and you're talking about part kids of, that are this around. Part of what I'm, yeah, this is part of what I'm what I'm saying is, is things that I have to figure out. You know, why the hell did I wind up thinking that it was all right when I knew it wasn't? Because even when I was even when I was sixteen, I, oh I didn't want to date the fifteen year old. Okay. What I would, what I had always pictured was, was my brother and his wife getting married at eighteen, and I always pictured that. Then I turned eighteen, and it's like, well, hell, I don't want to get married. I'm not, I'm not ready to get married yet. I'm eighteen years old. So why the hell would I want to get married now? Right. Okay. Yes, I he 19, is. I went out with twenty nine. Very years. much so just what, what circling right I now. I thought I'd do that. The point is. Throughout the span of years, my God, I my could thinking never do a, a Jeff Sogol impersonation. A you can get I married. Younger, I mean, you I, know, as I get older, I can't do it. I so why, it. why I would think that it would actually? I'm, I'm trying to fucking say exactly what you just said. It's impossible for a 16 year old to fall in love. I'm just going through the motions of what my thinking was, so I can make it realize. Think myself realize that that's true. It's impossible for a 15 or 16 year old to fall in love. Do you understand what I'm doing now? I don't know. No. I mean, we we talked about a lot of this stuff before. I was using myself as an example and talking about my teenage years and going okay. into adult years. Okay. And I, and I was using that as an example of how I felt because I was going back and thinking of how I felt back then. And then as my thinking got changed, changed as I got older, I was justifying what you said. It's impossible for a 16-year-old to fall in love. Got to keep having to go right. on mute. Um, or when they're 13, 14, 15. I got a little exactly. tickle right. in my throat. Yeah. It's just I had to go through thinking of my own years before I realized what you, what you said was true. Okay. Yeah, fuck All right, so, so you know now, now that, that now there, were no, right? there were no feelings. Fuck you, so go. You can suck my dick. Yours. No, they weren't the same as mine at all. Right. That never should have happened. Right, it never should have happened. <laughs> so now what's on your mind? I'm just thinking about a lot of stuff. You know, I have a ton of questions. 
because like you I know, said, I feel away. like when you went and traveled to go and see her, I feel like there's more there <laughs> this is wrong with that society. you're not wanting to necessarily admit to because it's going to be difficult to admit to or yeah, or to talk about. Well, talk about is admitting. It, I mean, because is, essentially admitting what? Well, I mean, when you say things like, you know, I was going there to to see her, even though you're both seeing each other on camera anyway. So you weren't going to get anything extra out of it in talking or anything like that. And then there was no plan of going somewhere else when the first location didn't work. I feel like you were really nervous and you were probably thinking, I'm, you know, if something were to go wrong here, if she tells me, oh yeah, actually let's go to this McDonald's and then to catch a predator happens there. Do you know what I mean? Oh, hell you yeah. Know exactly what I was thinking. Scarlet Ebony. Age is From just a number. To going there. A prison cell is just yeah. a room. Yeah. I mean, I, I want to know. Have fun, Jeff. What the plan was <laughs> to really understand it and to really be able to put it together. So that something makes sense. Okay. That night, I wasn't going to go. Uh-huh. But I sat down at the computer and I started talking to her. And all I had in, in, what I had in my head was that I promised her that I was going to go. So I hadn't, I hadn't brought water bracelet yet or condoms or anything. I'd, oh, no. I, I, I bought... was talking about when you were in Maine. Oh, when I was in Maine. Yeah. But to go down to Nashville? I didn't I didn't no. need her until I got down to Nashville. No. What are you talking about? When you went with Tony on your little trip. Oh, when I went with Tony on my little trip. Well I already told you that and there's no more to the, to the story than that. Oh, he named We wasn't the puppy. gonna we wasn't gonna talk to each other or anything like that. We were just gonna go to the same fair or whatever it was that that was going on just so we could see each other. Not not actually talk, but just see each other. And that was it. But that doesn't make sense. So at the time, it made sense to us. Because we just wanted to see each other in person versus over cam. But why? Just to know that the other one was actually real. Even though why wouldn't even she be real it. if she's in a camera in front of you? Mm-hmm. And why wouldn't you be I, real if you're in front of a camera with her? I guess just after seeing each other over cam so long, we wanted to see each other in person. But if you can't talk to each other what is the point i i don't know we had a tough time but i don't remember what no you say we i want to know what your point was because my point was to just her. to be able to see was just to be able to see her in person but why you want to see her body better you wanted to what uh, just to see her in person yeah and yeah i guess to see her body better to see her face better to see her be moving around better, I, I guess he's that's dancing around. The reason. So where you the just gonna lock he eyes wants, or something? He wants to see her face yeah. to face and stare at each other. That's fucking weird. Well, that's what we had in mind at the time. No, not we. You. What I'm saying is, when her and I talked, that's all that we were going to do. We was not going to talk to each other. We was not going to mm. go up to each other and say anything. I am we were not. just going to see each other. Did you spell out the rules to her to make sure she understood? Because it was really important that no one knew because you could get in trouble. Sure. That was actually what her and I both agreed on. Part of it was, was her skin color saying it. Such a vicious it wasn't just cycle. me. I weren't the only one that was saying it. We were, cause she didn't want her, her friend seeing me. She, she didn't want to have to answer questions to her, to her friends. Okay. Okay. I guess. Next question. So why didn't you go somewhere else? Yeah, he can try to because justify to it as much but as you he had wants. The, you were there But still already. the shit that he did yeah, but I couldn't wait another day was to do that. fucking you didn't have to creepy go to that and place. predatory. Why didn't you go somewhere else? I, uh, I don't know. I, I, I never gave it any thought at the time. Ugh, but yeah, what do right. you think Bullshit. right now about that? If it, if I would have, if it was back then and I would have thought about it back then, then then maybe yeah, 
might have mentioned going to another place to meet. Yeah. Or to see each other. Bailey, that's what I'm kind of thinking too. It look I'm looking at my uh, Streamlabs and it's looking okay. But in person, it's looking. Hmm, what color am I thinking of right now? It's almost like he's a he's a little too too rougey. But you know, honestly, I do this shit all the time where I hate what it looks like while I'm painting. But then once it dries, I'll look at it and be like, okay, it's fine. <laughs> Thank you. But it, I didn't think about it back then. But right now, what do I think about it? I wouldn't do it now. You wouldn't do what now? I wouldn't meet anybody underage. Well, I should hope not, and I should hope you wouldn't be talking to them either. No. I'm, well, I try to steer myself away from them, so I don't even go near them. That's good. Well, it sucks in a way because it I'd like to be able to, sucks to in do a way. things for, you know, like St. Jude's and kids with cancer and stuff like that well what were you planning on doing to them i mean send them their money well what what is it that it sucks i don't understand why can't you send them money well i can i can send them money it's just i I like yeah couple i i do like that theory that she mentioned it and lauren is just like hey tony want to go to a fair that's this many miles away just and like, because he is the 87, like you said, like Kel Pill, okay. he got the wrong so, date you know, just like, and was probably you, like completely embarrassed money. and just decided to like <laughs> bail. I can donate money. Okay, great. So Honestly, that's that. kind of like what, what I are hope. You planning on doing? What I hope you want to be a coach? that it was, and I hope that it wasn't anything well, worse. Well, I, than I don't now because I can you gotta steer him to stay away from it now. Right, but I'm asking you. What are you wanting to do that you're missing out on? Well, just being able to do stuff for for youth to help them out. Okay, but, but well, like, it's like what? It, it's like like foster kids. Uh, uh, stop getting frustrated. Just well, fucking I, spit it out. You know what I mean? Well, uh, how do you want me to spit out what I don't know what, exactly what's in my head yet? Oh, Answer God. the fucking question. Well, relax. God, I don't need to hear fucking... It, 30 years ago, I had coached a basketball team. Mm -hmm. Holy Christ. Donate your money if that's what you want to do. <laughs> it's, it's like I, I look at these, these, these kids that are in foster care. And the hard time that they have dealing with life because they don't have somebody there to do things with. Uh, there's stuff like that that I, that I would like, like to have done. Fortunately, Can't do you're right not going to be able to do that now. Let's see, it's even, I don't know. I can see Lorne uh, trying to sign up for the, like, big brother thing, but would request that he be a big brother to a girl. Can't do that now anyway, so no sense in even thinking about that. Right. But it's like like children's book, like me writing the children's book. Mm -hmm. I wanted to donate that, donate them those funds going to St. Jude's and other children's places. Well, you can't now because he gave it to me. It's mine. I know, I know. <laughs> Don't worry, I wasn't thinking about taking that back. I was. I can always thinking. write another book. <laughs> so you must have liked the book because you, <laughs> you still don't, still want to keep that. Well, I'm just saying that you gave it to me. Same thing. So oh, you, you must like me. You must have liked my book because you're keeping it to yourself. You God damn it, Lauren. I know. Don't worry. I want to think about going back on that. That meant a lot to me that you that you accepted it. Don't turn it into, like, this love thing. Oh, she really has feelings for me. She's just trying to Girl, deny it. Up. That's what you do. And then the next time that we have to go through this cycle again when you go crazy yeah so exactly say, yeah, scarlet how about book, just obviously you have betty form. back I'm, say that. Well, go I'm sure a lot of people would definitely think like a smidge better of you if you fucking paid betty like donating to charities proper charities 
that's great. But what he did to Betty, that should have been priority number one. Good. I'm going to say that was for your birthday. It's an awesome birthday present. Get you to take the damn thing. I was mad because you were arguing with me about taking them. I've always wanted a children's box for my birthday. Well, now you got one. Cool. Ooh, co so that's I can interesting go and do all the work off. to get it public. I hope not. <laughs> hey, you, everything else. Don't ask for, don't ask for everything. I wrote it. I wrote it, and the pictures are drawn. Right. So, what, you want me to go publish it for you and everything too? Can I go now? Yeah, <laughs> if you want to. Here we Can go. This is the end. Okay, that's the end of that. Uh, I'm still. I'm still doing okay. I I do want to at least attempt to finish the first coat of everything. I did find it's kind of sh- it's I mean it's not like short short shorts short shorts it's not the coochie cutters but um noble cyborg savage uploaded today Lauren versus Dan and. I I'm just I'm just that type of girl. I can't resist a little Lorn on Dan action. You've reached Lauren Armstrong. Leave a message. At the tone, please record your message. When you've finished recording, you may Hang on, let me read your other message. I think this call is called Lauren vs. Hey. Dan in the dump. What the fuck is that? Because it sounds like a guy. It sounds like Dan. Maybe. I haven't listened to this yet. Oh, really, huh? Uh, Kelp Hill, e- I can. I can do that on my phone. So if you have anything you want to send me, I am all eyes and ears. How much have you been fucking talking? What's with these weird... You've reached Lauren Armstrong. Leave a message. Okay, that's weird. That wasn't your fault. That was mine. I lost my signal. How much have you been talking to the square? How much? Don't fucking lie to me. Don't lie to me. I don't need to ask him. He sent me a message that let me know that you've been talking to him a lot. Okay, I know what this call is. I do enjoy this. Is he Is he really? Let me read this message to you. Hang on. Let me fucking bring it up. Hang on. Hang on. You want to hear the message? Hang on, let me bring it up so I can read it to you. Bloop, bloop. This is his message. I'm confident. Uh, in this call, it's really strange. I don't know exactly why, Bailey, but, um... For the most part, during this call, I'm pretty sure it's the one that I'm thinking of, and, and, it, and it really is funny because we get some Lauren and Dan action, but for some reason, because um, Lauren's talking to Casey and Emma is playing Casey right now, so for some reason her voice is like muted, and uh, around like the middle or the end of the call, you can kind of start to to hear her so I don't know exactly why that is but it does sound like Lauren is talking to himself if you and your girlfriend call me I'll take her within five minutes 
you bitch boy. You ain't got the balls to do it. How much have you been talking to this fucking queer? Anything that has to do with Lauren and Dan, it's... I'm always up for it. How how willing are you... Uh, how, how much are you willing to lose me for this fucking queer? So he'll tell me the truth? He does say some You better keep in nice mind, things. you just may lose me if you say the wrong fucking thing. I think you better tell him off. I don't think it. I know it. You better fucking tell him off. Because you, you lose. Ooh. Hi, Long Fast Fuse. Thank you for being here. We're going to get uh, some pretty iconic Lorne and Dan action. Uh, one of my favorite lines that Dan says and I don't know I think it's just like the delivery something about a delivery like that's what makes me laugh the most it has nothing to do with like the line itself it's just the way it's delivered and it's when Dan says Shh, I'm probably gonna not say the exact line but she's gonna be a suck in my cock within the end of the week something like that and it just Tickles me, me if you pink. don't. Ooh, I hear pups tippy tapping. Hello. Oh, there he is. What's up, Dan? Hey, what's up, chicken tenders? Yep, we got chicken tenders. Uh, what are you? What are you doing, there, fucking ball sucker? No, that hasn't happened yet. And then that you get a, you're engaged to a fucking guy. I, I, how can you not be a fucking ball sucker? Yeah, no, le, le, no. Let me, no. Le, let me tell you something, Lauren. I got eight inches. Okay, eight inches. You got, you, got, you have eating issues. Yeah, you're going for meatballs. I got eight inches down your throat. Yeah, you ain't just going it's, down it's, my throat. I'll fucking kill you. You think you're putting the fucking any inches towards my fucking throat? You'll be dead. I'm gonna hold you by the I'm ears, on, and I'm gonna. I'm homophobic, face. motherfucker. I'm homophobic, motherfucker. I don't go for your queer shit. I'm gonna fuck your face with my eight inches cock. Why don't you meet me in person and say that, bitch? I'm coming you up. Don't to dare to you. Because you're a fucking scared ass old motherfucker that knows you ain't gonna fucking gonna do that. Kick your ass you say it on you say it over the phone because you're a fucking chicken shit. You ain't got the balls. Why don't you why don't you say that face to me face to face? Why don't you say that to me face to face? See how long you fucking last. Hey, shut up, bitch. Don't call my fucking woman a bitch, you fucking no, piece of shit, fucking queer. Bitch. You're a fucking queer. I will say, I mean, there's a lot of funny s stuff in this, but there are some kind of offensive stuff, so I apologize. Uh, there are some, you know, name calling and things that sound very abusive, but it's it's not real, guys. I mean, according to Lauren, it's real, but it's this is all a fantasy dreamed up online. No, he doesn't know what uh, uh, homophobic means. You couldn't even satisfy Emma. You're a fucking queer. She's going to be sucking my cock w within the week. There it is. I'm, I'm... Oh, really? Yeah. What if I talk to her, Dan? What if I talk to her, Dan? You don't have a chance. Shut up, bitch. Yeah. Yeah, shut up, you fucking queer. If me and Casey talk to Emma... You ain't never seen Emma again. You ain't, you ain't never talking to Emma, okay? I got every really? where I, I am the only one that I am the only one that has not deleted off Emma's phone. You don't have a chance against me, Dan. 
I have well, me and Casey talk to Emma. Talking about you're done. You will never ever fucking touch Emma again. I'll touch who I want, when I want, and how I want. Oh, really? I'm taking well, both. Why don't, you, why, why don't you stand face to face with me, Dan, and say that, you fucking queer? Lord, I got your bitch, okay? You don't have my bitch. I got your bitch. My woman sticks with me. Then why is she all over my My seat? woman loves me. Why is she all over She don't give a scale? fuck about you. She's on she's my learning, side. She's learning. She is learning right now We're the exact kind of person that you are. Why? Shut up, bitch. Shut up, bitch. Why is she Look, on don't my Don't fucking side? call her a bitch, you fucking piece of shit. Fucking queer. <laughs> that only sucks fucking asshole. Eight inches. Down asshole and cough. Eight, eight inches down your throat, that? bitch. Okay, okay, up, bitch. Hang, hang up. Hang up on that fucking queer. Hang up on that I'm fucking piece of shit. I, I don't want to hear his fucking voice. I'm He's a fucking gay. Oh, yeah, if he had any respect I'm for any of us, and if he was actually friends with any of us, he would not talk I'm like this. I'm gonna do, I'm if, gonna, he was, if he was actually friends with any of us, and if he had any respect for any of us, he wouldn't talk like this. Hang up on that fucking queer. Casey, hang up on him. Shut up, bitch. <laughs> Hey, you fucking queer, I have meet you a person, I will fucking literally fucking beat the hell out of you. I'm gonna rip your fucking head off if I see you in person, you fucking pedophile. Fuck you fucking queer, you, you don't have a fucking chance. You are woman because you like fucking little kids, that's why. You, you fucking, you fuck fucking queer. Isn't that funny, my woman knows better. What do you want to play with fucking little girls in the fucking kiddie pool? You fucking uh, asshole. How about I play with you fucking bitch in the fucking ring and I just beat the hell out of you, you fucking queer. My Set woman knows exactly what kind of person I am. Set it up. So you don't have a chance, Talk faggot. Hey, fag. I'm coming hey, to fag. Cornville. You even, you even undermined your own fucking woman that you had before. Because you your... already know she loves me more than she loves you. What is your boss? She loves Casey more than she loves you. What is your boxing name, Lauren? Shut up. You don't have a chance. What is, what you is don't your, have a chance, faggot. What is your boxing name? The Canvas Kid? She's going to listen to me, Casey, long before she does you because she knows that you don't fight. You're a fucking piece of shit. If you're standing face to face with Bye, me. Bye, faggot. Bye, faggot. Casey, hang that phone up on him right now. I'm going to tear your fucking head off, Lauren. No, and that's. Yeah, Poop Frog. His. His repertoire of insults, very basic, and he thinks calling someone offensive names that are really, I mean, for the most part, they're very juvenile. They're still offensive, absolutely, but it just sounds like a one of those bully tropes that just, you know, make fun of, you know, someone that's kind of like, well, the Dan character. But he has nothing else. He has nothing else in his freaking arsenal than the stupid crap that he says over and over and over again. It's just like his chat log. It is just like his freaking chat log. He is like... I'm thinking of one of those really old uh, toys when you would, um, let's see, uh, for example, to define what farm animals, what they say, you put your finger like next to it and then you would turn it like an old phone and then it would come back like, the cow says moo. Like, that's all that Lauren's, like, insults are. And they're very limited. Shut up, right. Come up here, faggot. Shut and do it. Come up here, little faggot. I'm fag boy. Come up here and do it, fag boy. And then I'm you got my ad ass, fag boy. Come up here and do it. You fucking uh, Only a hundred adjectives. Oh, I'm gonna fuck yeah. you up. 
Come on, bitch. Bring it on, you fucking faggot. Come on. You want to arm wrestle me right now, motherfucker? Bring it up here. I love it. I arm wrestle. arm wrestle you. I don't want to arm wrestle you. I don't want to beat the little fuck out of you, you stupid bitch. I'm going to fucking smack you right in the fucking yeah, face. Fight, fight, fight. Yeah, Poop Frog. Like, we need like to invent that. Like, each little button is a lorn insult. I, just, I don't know. That would be a fun... I feel like... I swear... Baked Salmon... Baked Salmon did something like that. That sounds very familiar now that I'm thinking about it. Fag boy, fight! You are Don't fucking arm wrestle. wrestle. You're gonna make you get your fucking head beat in, faggot. Sucker. Come up here, fag boy. I'm coming to Cornville. <laughs> I'm coming that? to Cornville. Come on, fag. You know my address, little wait, bitch. Wait, wait, my fucking address is not hidden. Yeah, Come on, fag knows boy. Your fucking address, Lauren. I'm gonna t- shut up, bitch. I'm gonna t- tear you hey, up. Hey, bet you fucking call my number, to bet you fucking little faggot. Clear. Oh. So fucking tear this dude apart. Hey, hey, there are- it's like at this point, like he can only say like queer or the f word, and like if it were me, like you know, hearing those words, I'd be like, yeah, that's me. Yeah, yep, I'm that's I am totally that. Yeah, you're right. W- what of it? Uh, there are some queers up here too. You might be able to go to a fucking blue moon bar and fucking tag you a couple of queers. Well, perfect. Then I can go up to Cornville. You're not married up to have a woman. Then I'll fuck you up. Come on, brother. Come on. Bring it up here. Hello, you know my address. I'll fuck you up, bitch. I, I will allow you to step in my driveway. Okay, Capil, yeah, that, that sounds... one step um, is all you're going to get. Why? What's going to happen? Just... You. You're going to be back on the pavement, brother. I'm telling you that right now. You will be back on the pavement so fast. You will never even, even have a fucking clue about where you were. It'll make your fucking head Do spin. you know, Lauren, that if I come up to Cornville... Your girlfriend is going to have to watch me annihilate you, and then I'm going to mouth fuck you in front of her. And I also know that you're you're dreaming. You are far from fucking dreaming. Because you know if you fucking come up to Corbinal and you step in my fucking driveway. He does. You're going to go home. You you just might go into a fucking body bag. That F word is worse. Really, one? Yep. Is uh, really, worse Dan. than a pedo. That's that you want to test your fucking luck. You bring your ass you know up what here. Orange really is. I'm telling you right now. You bring your fucking ass up here. Shut I will guarantee. I I will guarantee you. You will not go home in a body bag because I know you have family members that care about you. So you will not go home in a body bag. But you will go to the hospital before you go home. Okay. You can bring. All your, shut up, bitch. You can bring all... Hey, I'm hey, you fucking to queer. To Don't call my bed. woman a bitch, you fucking stupid fucking piece of shit queer. I just did. Bitch. Yeah, well, Casey, hang shut up on the motherfucker. Shut up, bitch. I'll smack you. Casey. Oh, really? Hey. <laughs> yeah, he in hey. the woods. Hey, bitch ass fucking queer. Why don't you fucking bring your ass Head up here? Woods. Bring your ass up here, motherfucker. Head in the woods. Because I'm going to show you what a real fucking smack is. You don't dare to. You know why? Because you're, you're a chicken shit. You're a chicken shit piece of bitch fucking queer. Lauren, have you ever been turned out? You don't dare to fucking you face me, to, Dan. Do you want me to put you, you in a You talk to fucking now. talk, but you don't have any fucking balls to walk the walk because they've been sucked off. I'm coming up to the So shut the fuck up to my woman. Don't ever fucking call her a bitch. You Only I can call her a bitch. Shut up, you fucking faggot. Casey, hang up on that goddamn cocksucker now. You don't want to face me. That's hang why up I'm on him, Casey. Casey, Casey, hang up on him. Bitch. Now. Bitch. Hang up on him. Now.
Now, do you see how that fucking faggot is? I think do you really think that fucking faggot is worth Casey. fucking risking meeting you? Slowly, but surely. Okay, so now what do you think about Emma? Do you want Emma to be with some uh, piece of shit like that? Yeah. You do? Yeah. Come on now. <laughs> I love when Dan out says, After she uh, was there for you, you want to arm wrestle? Out of all your stuff, she is your best friend. Why does she have to be mean to him? Yeah, now we can start to hear Casey a little bit. Emma Are Casey. you really going to stick up for him? No. He called you a bitch. I know. Why did he do that? She... Casey, shake the goddamn cobwebs out of your fucking head. What the fuck is the matter I'm with you? I'm surprised he didn't say cocks. Are you crying about this fucking queer? No, I'm crying because you're yelling at me. I'm not yelling at you. I'm talking to you. No. My mind is blown right now because you're crying because of this fucking queer? No. Are you serious? No. Your fucking queer friend that you've been fucking talking to? I'm, uh, behind my back is still texting me. But I haven't been talking to him. I told you. Well, you must have been. Because you've told me things that, that I didn't know that you have talked to him about before. I'm calling and telling Like you. talking to him about me. You what? Don't you call him. Do not call him. You call him. I'm fucking hanging up. Don't then it's going to be you too. You love me. You shut the fuck up and let me prove this to you. Shut up, Lauren. I love you. Hang, hang on. Hello? Dan. Hey. Have we been texting back and forth? No, but we're going to now. No, we haven't, but since he's such a bitch boy, now I'm going to text you, and now I'm going to send you cock pics. <laughs> yeah, you, you fucking motherfucker. You, you really know how to fucking ruin the shit, don't you, damn? I'm you really know how to fucking ruin it, don't you, damn? I'm taking your girl, Lauren. That's it. You ain't, you ain't taking my fucking girl. No, you're not. I just sent you a picture of my cock, Lauren. Eight inches. Look at it, bitch. Look at it. I, I didn't even fucking bring up your fucking queer ass fucking pick, you fucking freak. Yeah. Look at my cock, Lauren. Shut up, bitch. Hey, hey don't call her a fucking woman, bitch, you fucking kind of old. No, I fucking... You don't know, have any respect for her at all, do you? Fucking you don't know, have any respect for women at all, do you, Dan? You just call my fucking woman a bitch. I'm gonna un. What did you call fucking Emma? Hot white. She was close to Emma. What did you call her? You fucking worthless fuck. Hang up on that motherfucker, Casey. Yeah, bye, Dan. Hang up on him. Bitch. You fucking faggot. I hung up. (laughs) Do you get the fucking clue, Casey? Yeah. What do you tell me? What do you get for a clue? So, who do you think gives a fuck about you more? That fucking faggot? Gonna or Emma? Get a white tube of the white stuff. Stop and think about. Fill in this you stop beam. and think about all the fucking shit Emma Here. has done for you. What? How much she has been there? What? what? Huh? Somebody's coming. Hold on. No, Jesus. Somebody's coming now. I know, this is, this is a lot. You are a restricted number, you're in rec room. I know, it's, okay, I need to find the color of Lauren's shirt. Okay, I've been looking around you. all my blues. This, this fucking bullshit with Dan is stopping right now. It's kind of, like the color is kind of giving me, I mean, it's not much of the freaking 
sure, but it's giving me like... I heard you break up with him? Almost like a blue jean color. A break... You, you really used the wrong words. God, I keep having a cough tonight. I don't know what's wrong with me. All right, let's test his blue jeans. Blue jeans. You should have said them, uh, them words first. It's kind of... Before I can break up. Too bad. I think this don't, might work. Don't, don't cry. Don't cry. I want adult voice. Don't want the fucking kid voice. Oh, no. Not the kid voice. Anything but that. I don't want the kid voice. I want you. No, don't do that either. Don't do that. Yeah, Kel, I didn't I'm do anything to be rude. I'm getting a little. Okay, the uh, color Cassie, that I have is just asking you blue to use your regular voice. Kind of getting that vibe, and I really. I know. <laughs> then just talk softly. Doesn't mean don't. you have to use a kid voice. I want to think like two. Yeah, that looks that it looks close. It looks close. Well, you asked if for them. If I had to darken it a little them, bit, it might work. Them. Oof, that was my neck. Well, All right, let's see how it looks. I'm sure you'll look at them. Move up, Lorne. Move up. You, you, already, you already told me that you wouldn't pass it up looking at them. I'm sure that's a, the, the, what that fucking queer is sending me to. So I know I'll delete them. Oh, look, he sent me a picture of his uh, Yeah, exactly, Scarlet. Like, um, there you I go. can understand I why. Know. He said, so come to me and you can go to him. I can see certain aspects of, like, why they would do the little kid voice. I mean, A, uh, Tiffany wasn't available all the time to talk to Lauren as Casey. But then, B... Um, Emma would attempt to make the voice like a kid voice to kind of show that Lorne likes that because he liked Casey's, sorry, he liked uh, Kayla's voice so much. Oh, you're so sweet. It's gross. But he's kind of playing it off like, could you stop it with a damn kid voice? Then come to me and you can go fucking visit Van Damme. You know what, so, Omega? My husband bro, has I'm just fucking, a, I'm just a shirt this putting color, all too. So. Pieces together in the puzzle. You're not alone. Why are you mad at me? I guess if you want. Like, I'm not mad at you. I'm just telling you, I guess. It, then shut up and listen. It says, Lauren. Uh, I think this might. Oh, crap. I get blue all over this. My father, come and get me. It wasn't for me to visit him for sex. That's fine. I can fix it. Maybe I can mix it a little bit. He knows my address. He lives out of Saint Maine. He knows my address. He can come to Saint Maine. Look at me talking like I'm Bob fucking Ross. He's a lawyer and fucking so fucking. <laughs> nowhere near him. Such a good guy. As you put it. He's a, he's a good money. guy, a good friend. He knows, he knows my address, and my address is known. I can't hear you. I guess he'll come to me. Chamon. That cocksucker sent me a little message, and I still ain't oh, yeah, uh, looking at that better. fucking shit. This is a little better. But you got his cock fixed there, so I'm sure you're looking at that. That's why you're not fucking responding to me. You got his cock down your throat. Yeah, I... You know what I mean? Answer me now. I'll, right. I'll just let you off the phone so you can take a minute to look at his cock page. Why don't you fucking ramble? Are you ready for my turn? I'm ready for your turn, but I'm okay, fucking telling you. My turn. Oh, Kelpil, that's interesting. I asked interesting. you to fucking get rid of the cocksucker. That's, yeah, he probably had a hard time hearing it. And, that's, and then with the robot calls, he preferred the lower octave male voice. Is that a thing? Like, maybe his hearing is so bad that he has a hard time hearing high-pitched sounds 
right? Hang I mean, on. Like now, Hang on. He's like older, but you know, back then he loved. Let me take a second. Yeah. I'm gonna have you read to me. Yeah, like, <laughs> let me take a second because you know, that he still fucking texts me. I'm not reading them. <sighs> you afraid to see what a real cock looks like, Lorne? Oh, fucking A. It was my fucking dish towel. Dish towel? Hey. Um, because I had fucking strawberries there, and I ate the strawberries, and there was some juice on the counter. Yeah, I can see him. He he has, like, selective hearing, or he hears... Yeah, and I want you to stop play acting right too. now, That's Casey. Do you not understand me when I tell you that? Right. cry why would you cry because of dan why would you act that way when you knew i weren't yelling at you you better stop that bullshit right now you know goddamn well i weren't being mean to you so you better stop that bullshit Stop finding some way to make a fucking reaction, Casey, because I'll give you a reaction. Your Yahoo account settings are out of date. You're being the asshole. I don't have Yahoo. I'm calling the Yahoo police. I didn't even police. fucking talk nasty. I'm reporting so you, you to Yahoo. That Leave me up. alone. I wasn't ta <laughs> not talking to you nicely yeah, before. Man. We're not. Only do the... Kid voice, but we're having phone sex. All right, Casey? Um, are you fucking serious? I was telling you, I was waiting on some fucking juice off the counter. I, th I think you better stop that bullshit. God, I hate when he sounds like he's her fucking dad. Casey, don't do that to me again. If you do that to me again, if you do that to me again, I'm going to hang up. No, there's, there's no if you love me, because you already know I love you. If you love me, you'll be quiet and listen and listen to your voice when you talk to me. And ask yourself if it's nice or mean. Stop being mean to me, please. That's all I'm asking. Wiping strawberry juice off the counter and telling you about me wiping strawberry juice off the counter is not being mean. So you, you need to find a different fucking thing and to say. When I when I am doing that. And between that, you keep saying you can look at his cock for all I care. Stop it! I told you I deleted. Listen to me. Stop. Listen to me. Listen to me. If you send any message to me, or give me any reason to think that you are so close to Dan, so much closer to Dan than the way you are me. Yeah, that guy. Hang up the phone. Is really funny, and it, and it will be you and Dan. Fine, because there's nothing between us. I bet. Father Tron, if you hear this, do that guy's chat log. I don't remember his name, but it's the guy. Check my trunk, my cons. I was going fishing. I know he likes to do chat logs that not too many people do, and I'm not too sure if. I've heard people do that chat log. I have had enough of this damn bullshit. Fine, it's going to stop tonight. He was just going fishing. Yeah, well, the cop tracker is still, is still texting me. Well, good. Tell him you're sorry and you're done with him too so we can move on. I am not telling him. I am sorry for nothing. I didn't do anything to that cop tracker. He's the one that did shit to my best friend and your best friend. <laughs> I am I'm not talking about your best friend nothing. is. Why you would tell me to say that? Blows my fucking mind. So we can move on and not hold grudges and just move on with our life. I am not telling you I'm sorry, Casey. Get it out of your fucking head. What the fuck is wrong with you? What's an AIDS manufacturer, Lauren? Damn. I said that then to piss him off. Yeah, obviously, he sent my message to you. Yeah, 
So, you obviously communicating with him? No. Fine. No. Communicate with him. I have no idea what Ember is doing. What? Right now. Oh. Stop being mean to me. I'm not doing anything wrong. Then I'm telling you, stop lying to me. You wouldn't let me talk earlier. Stop lying to me, Casey. Shut the fuck up. Now. Five seconds. Mike no, you shut the fuck up and stop lying to me. Keep interrupting me and you get mad at nothing. Let me tell you what happened. Yeah. You're communicating with him a lot more than what Rick's you're telling talented me. Talented tongue. You're not Thank being honest you, with me. Bailey. You're not being honest with me. My turn. Your turn. Be honest with me. Yeah, it's your turn. Be honest with me. Why are you so irate? Apologize. Yeah. I am not apologizing to him. Apologize. To me! To you for what? Sticking up for you? No, idiot. For defending you? Because you called me a liar and I didn't lie. Because I had blocked him and was reading an old message. Apologize. Yeah, Scarlet's saying. I'm sorry that I was fucking mean. That's why I love uh, Father Tron's channel so much because he's reading chat logs that. I'm mean, not to say that no one thought of or hasn't done, but he's uh, putting out some good chat logs that, like, like, oh fuck, I can't. Totally didn't think about his chat log being interesting or funny or you know kind of gross which is meh but um yeah the ones that don't stick out as much they're still just as creepy and just as funny you okay, for sticking up for your fucking boyfriend okay, thank you, baby. Uh, uh sticking up for you yeah, go your back and actually boyfriend. watch the show there you go there's totally. your apology Can you just fucking admit it to it? Isn't that fucking gross? I don't know what you're talking about. I was just thinking about... I just told you I am sorry for sticking up for you to your boyfriend. That's not what I was asking for an apology for, so stick it up your, your nostrils. Well, I think you better straighten your fucking reasons out. Hello? You called me a You just told me thank you for, for apologizing to you for that. Yeah, Bailey, and I freaking love it. I blocked him. And I it's so much fun to listen to. You said that I was still communicating with him, and I wasn't. That's what I wanted. And it's cool that he brings Not some other ass guy. into the mix. Lauren. I, well, if you blocked him. Yeah, I told you I blocked him. And I said, him. if you blocked him, and I said something, something wrong to you, and mean. Then I am sorry. Oh my God! Did Lauren just apologize? For Holy any shit, mean thing I said. Has frozen over. For anything against you that I said. Well, what's I didn't say anything against you anyway, so. Oh, that, never mind. That one didn't Take make that sense. Back. You call me a liar, so thank you for that apology. Well, yeah, apology. that that was against you, so so I'm sorry. For Did you make a lot of money at the art sale? No, and no, no, I'm. We're not done with, with this crap. Yet. You said you wanted to be done with it. Yeah, but it's not done because you know that you know that fuck's not done. I blocked him, so he's done with me. Dishes are done, man. And what about Emma? 
what about now that you saw a fucking uh, now that you saw the true side of Dan? What about Emma? Because Emma, Emma was your true friend. She was your literally true friend. If you don't want me to have anything, if you don't want me to have any, listen to me. If you don't want me to have anything to do with Emma until you're ready for me to have something to do with Emma, then I am fine with that. Okay. But you and Emma, you were really good friends. And I, you don't need to apologize. Or you need to talk to her. And she, she is understanding enough. But, but and really, yeah, you, you should apologize to her because of the words that she oh, said. Oh no, to you her. don't need to apologize. But because yeah, you, you, you probably should apologize. Because she fucking she thought a lot more of you than that. What? Alright. I'm never gonna be. I told Dan that Emma was dead. Why would you do that? Because I was confused at the time, but I'm not now. I was messed up. What? Wait a minute, Casey. You told Dan that Emma was dead because you wanted Dan. Don't be mad. That was then. This is now. I didn't know how he really was. Okay. No. no wait a minute. You told me that Emma was dead yeah. so that you could have Dan and not me? No, just because I wanted him to... So you wanted Dan and me? Casey wants to be a part of a tripod. God What's wrong with that? Please don't be mad. Let's work through this. I love you. How, how can you... You've been telling me you love me all along and I've been believing you. I do. I just get horny. It just sucks. Call Dan now. Nope. Call Dan now. Okay. But please don't hang up on me. I want to work through this. Because Call her. I'm not gonna hang up as long as you say the right words, and I'm not gonna say anything. I'm not yeah, even as long here. As you say exactly but I am what hearing I want everything you that say. you say. Well, you, you think about it. No. You think about it. It's all gonna all gonna be on your head. No, because I didn't do anything wrong. Let's work. No. Nope. Yeah. Yeah, this is like this is gonna like tell me everything. Let's work together like partners, okay? What's our game plan? Stop working against me. There's no there's no game plan. I want you on the phone with Dan. You're the only one that knows that I'm here. Okay. Well, how? What do you want me to tell him? I'm gonna see what you tell him. All right. I'm listening. Just know that I'm listening. Ooh. Blocked me? Yeah, on my cell phone. Oh, you fucking faggot. Oh, she can only really talk so long, so now I'm going to talk for you, fucking queer. You're not getting her. Oh, you geez. want it. You want more than eight inches? I'm going to give you more than eight inches because my foot is going to go right up your fucking ass and you're going to be down for the fucking count. And after you're down for the count, I'm going to stop on your fucking head. So why don't you bring your ass up to fucking Maine? You are very, very fucking lucky that she can't speak loud. Because I'm speaking loud for her now. If you were going to give me of fact, she, You don't even need for anybody, for anybody <laughs> to be out of anywhere. You bring your ass up to Maine right now. And yeah, it'll be me and you. 
Let's see how tough you are, you fucking queer. Oh. You know my address. I'm inviting you to my house right now. Let's see how tough you are, you fucking queer. You want to fucking talk to talk? You want to talk to talk to you little fucking bitch? You want the luck, you fucking little cunt. No, you're not. You're ready to get your fucking ass beat like a motherfucker. Because if not, if you don't show up at my house, you're not the mother talking fucking bitch. A little fucking bitch. Bitch, bitch, bitch. Hang up on him, Casey. Hang up on him, Casey. Hang up on him, Casey. Oh my god, it's his fucking fate. Fata- oh god. Fatality. Hang up on him, Casey. Okay. Hang up on him. Okay. I hung up. Did you hang up on him? <laughs> point, point 15 seconds. <laughs> okay. Now, now, now it's your turn to listen. Okay. Oh, Lauren, did I make you look like you have lipstick on? Oh, no. I'm going to call. Oh, no. What should I do? And I want you to remain completely quiet. She okay? kind of has been the whole time, Lauren. Huh? Huh? I can call him, and it'll say private caller, and he'll think it's you from the rec room. Okay, because I've got his number. I've, I've forgotten, I, I have D, the letter D, on my phone, and I've got the his The letter D? Oh, Dan. no, is that I where the remember, sweatshirt I didn't remember what it was idea I came from? When I put the... But every time you do a three-way call, you always hang it up on accident. Okay, uh, that, that's fine. Do a private call. I just want you to remain completely silent. Okay. Completely. Uh, I'm tired of him calling. I'm tired of him calling you bitching. You better not. You you had literally better not be playing this fucking game with me with this fucking piece of oh, shit yeah. queer. Oh yeah. Now as I was saying, he loved you're, you're learning not, about you're not, the three way call. You, you want to listen to me? You're not doing anything wrong. He's like a voyeur. I'm he, just I'm just letting you go up front. You better not be playing know, this game with me. And he doesn't like people fucking with him and being dishonest, but he will totally do that to anybody it doesn't even matter like who they are to him like he'll do it to his family he'll do it to people he thinks is his friends his slash girlfriend slash fiance or wife like such a fucking hypocrite All right. <clears throat> Hello, this is Dan. What's up, Dan? Hey, what's up, chicken tenders? You bitch. Chicken tenders. It's just me and you now, tough guy. No, oh, not. I can't wait to fucking fill your girlfriend's cunt with a real cock. Oh, a real cock? You ain't got a fucking real cock. A real cock. Everybody's seen your little pathetic fucking pepperoncini. I got a real yes. cock, motherfucker. You got a fucking yeah. little Italian pepper. Yeah, Come on. You know, <laughs> you, you know an awful lot of people are obsessing over my cock, Dan? Come on, pepper boy. An awful lot of people, uh, of lot of people are obsessing over my cock, Dan. How many people are obsessing over yours? No, I got a fucking a eight inches of hard yeah, yeah. salami, baby. Hard salami. Eight inches. I'm gonna fuck eight, inches. I'm gonna fuck eight, eight inches, Dan. You, usually people that say they have eight inches, they usually have maybe fucking three if they're lucky. No, no. Look at Look at the message I sent you. I showed you a picture of my cock. A real cock. Yeah, you, you know what, Dan? I didn't bring up your fucking measures because you're saying super shit. Yeah, you don't want to see a real cock. I'm going to bust your fucking ass when I go to Columbia. <laughs> I'm going to fuck you yeah. up. Did you think fuck you're a lawyer? Bust your yeah. fucking ass. Oh, man. You know what? I have never met a lawyer that sounds as stupid as you do. 
I'm as good in the boxing ring as I am in the courtroom, baby. I guess I never good in the boxing ring before. as in the courtroom. Really? You really, really, motherfucker. Well, well, once you once you meet me in the boxing ring, once you meet me in a fucking street fight, even a or a boxing ring, I don't give a fuck what it is. I'm I just want to beat the living fuck out of you. I'm gonna fuck you up. Bring me up there, Dan. Don't I'm talk it. Don't, don't talk to him. Don't talk to him. So-called, don't talk to him, so-called lawyer boy. Oh, that was an insult? Lawyer boy? Okay, what are you, unemployed? You bitch? Mm -hmm. I'm not unemployed. I work. What? I, I have a job, Dan. 20 hours a week? 20? Yeah. Dan, why don't you, why don't you get up at fucking 1230 in the morning? Then work till fucking three thirty the next afternoon. Oh, so you work graveyard shift? So you're a big fucking hero? No, well, you're a lawyer and you can't figure out the math on that. I said wake up at twelve thirty in the morning, Dan, and then get done work at three thirty in the afternoon. You're a lawyer and you can't figure out the math on that. You're not a very fucking smart lawyer, are you? You just fucking that. step yourself right into a hole every time you open your mouth. I'm going to use your girlfriend like a blow-up fuck doll. Do you understand me? <laughs> Do you understand uh, me? I'm going to fuck you. <laughs> you wait until I pass the word on Emma and tell you you sound. Oh, yeah, he can't wait to tell Emma. You can't take me one in a fight. You can't. Bring yourself up here, Dan. You're flabby, Lauren. You're fucking flabby. Uh, I am a... Hey, dumb, dumbass. I'm, a, I'm inviting you up here. Smoke another... I'm inviting you up here. You can't last... You have no, you have no reason not to show up. I'm coming there, man. Zero, zero reason, queer boy. You have zero reason to not show up here. Zero. So instead you're of fucking talking, just, just show up. You're gonna have you have zero reason to not show up. Prison, motherfucker. Whatever talk you're talking, man, I don't hear you. Just show up. You're going to be washing my drawers. Do you understand me? <laughs> you know, yeah, but the problem is you come me in your fucking drawers when I wash them because they're going to dunk your ass in the fucking stream down the fucking road. When's the last time your drawers go? Do you off? not understand me? You dirty bitch. Let, 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 me, let me give you a little fucking hint to this. You're going to show up in my fucking dooryard. I'm going to grab you by the fucking hair, drag you down to the fucking brook. Hair? And I'm going to dunk your ass in the fucking water. And that's the way your doors going to be fucking washed because you'll be shitting your bitches. Okay, so that'll be perfect when I come up out of the water sense. and I'm all dripping and looking sexy mm -hmm. for your girlfriend, Casey. So I beat your ass in front of her and then I have a nice <laughs> fuck fest. Uh, yeah, and now I know you're living in a dreamland because when you come up out of the fucking water, you're just going to be dunked back under again. When I'm done with... You, when come, I'm up, done? you come up out of the water... I'm going to have the fucking nearest queer in the fucking neighborhood to fucking bend you over and start fucking you. When I'm done Whoa, with your girlfriend... Then I'm going to dunk you under the water again. About the R word? I don't know. And I'm going to have the nearest dog in the neighborhood bite your fucking little pecker, your two-inch pecker off. Listen, Then man. when you come up out of the water again, then, I'm just going to start beating the little fuck out of you because you called my girlfriend a fucking bitch. Not only is your girlfriend a bitch, when I'm done... Fucking your girlfriend. Dan. I'm gonna fuck Dan. your mother. I'm gonna fuck Dan. your mother. You are, oh, no, you fuck Dan. Mom. You are not. Hey, hey, quit, bro. Quit. Fuck her. Mother. Fuck her. You are, not, you are never gonna touch my girlfriend. Oh, I'm gonna that. fuck your mother, too. All right, Dan. You wanna talk about my girlfriend and my mother? All right, yeah. motherfucker. My sister's gonna suck I'm me. Gonna, I'm gonna find out your address now, motherfucker. Because oh, yeah? you got the two people in the world that I care most about. Yeah. I'm going to find out your fucking address, motherfucker. And you know I can't because you know how close me and Emma are. So now I'm going to find out your address. I'm coming down to your house 
and you're gonna be fucking dead. Hey, Lord, I'm coming for you. You want you want to save my fucking girlfriend, my fucking mother? I'm Yo, coming down to your house now, motherfucker. Fuck you fuck fucking created a fucking you created a major issue, motherfucker. Fuck your mother, your Casey, mother. Casey, hang up on that bitch. I'm gonna hang up on that bitch now. So hang up on him, Casey. Hang up on that bitch. All right, that's the end of that. Um, I think I'm going to let this dry a little bit and then assess how or where I need to go from here. I really, so I have this space above his cap and I only have like one idea. I probably should have drawn him a little a little bigger but you know it is what it is we have those happy accidents but I have like the worst handwriting and this the empty <laughs> the emptiness of Lord's soul I don't know there's a part of me like because it has kind of like a so far it has like a little bit of like a cartoony aspect like most of my shit uh part of me was thinking of putting like oh cod on top of it and making it almost like a comic book strip i don't know that's what i'm kind of feeling right now i'm not too too sure or i can just cover this with whatever type of paint that I want caught in a bubble yeah like something like something like that yeah but that's what I'm kind of going with right now with uh with the plan but I am going to call it a night you mean you would have a legit reason to use the Comic Sans? You know, it's been a long time since I've used Comic Sans. That was very me, like, way back in the day of, like, AIM when you would type in your away message and mine would be, like, totally, like, morbid and stupid <laughs> at the same time. So, yeah, I just got a juggling ideas right here, but you know what? It's where it is right now, and that's totally fine. But I am going to call it a night again. I really appreciate everyone that stopped by, hung out, chatted, and listened to my bullshit always always appreciated thank you to uh, <laughs> that one fucking dude i can't remember <laughs> what the name was that spammed my stream earlier for the donation i appreciate it and you can also go fuck yourself and don't ever spam my chat again but i hope everyone has a fantastic night i will see you guys again on thursday Mwah, love you guys. Bye.